Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interest. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our signature points club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Your breaker for tonight's oh show. Oh my God. Likes long walks on the beach. Candlelight dinners in his Patrick Mahomes jersey. None are better than this one. The best quarterback in the world. Oh, there Patrick he is. Patrick Mahomes. Yes. And staring at the messy posters over his bed, it's Common and Chev. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. Common and Chev here with Alex Telez, look at that. The randomizer's up, Alex. Ooh. We're thinking ahead. There are our faces. We're here, baby. Uh, ready for a big, big show today. A lot of good stuff in the break room. How about that new vault series? A Tom Brady salute to service speed flex in there. We have one from the old, one from the new. A Tom Brady STS speed flex. Comfortably worth more than $3,000. That is an awesome, awesome helmet. The most expensive autograph, the most expensive helmet. The most expensive player because he has simply put the GOAT. A lot of other great headliners in that vault. How about the can't miss jerseys? I confirm with our production team. I can say with 100% certainty, eight boxes left. And we got ourselves five headliners and three entries Ooh. for a Jim Brown full-size rep helmet at the end of the series. So that means every box in the can't miss jersey is either a headliner or an entry for Jim Brown. The headliners are good too. John Elway, Dan Marino, two of the best quarterbacks of all time. Diamond helmets. We've got a 10 in 16 chance at a headliner in the diamonds, including 9 in 16 chance at a photo headliner. A lot of possibilities to double up, especially for Niner fans, Joe Montana, Jerry Rice. Great double up in the NFC West. How about the NFC East? Dak Prescott, a custom speed flex, Terry McLaurin, uh, and we also have Aaron Donald in the West, by the way. LaDainian Tomlinson's a headliner in there. A lot of massive, massive names. The one in four will be the auto chase wheel spin for this program and the next one too, Alex. The 3 p.m. show as well. Two spots to go in that double. Uh, in that double box break, you get the football spot. You get the Justin Jefferson speed flex. The five autograph Miami Hurricane lid. We're looking in that ballpark of around $2,000 value, maybe a little bit less. Maybe a little bit more, depending on where you go. But either way, even if we lowball it, you know, a few a few hundred less than two thousand, that is still a lot more than two hundred. Uh, what is it, sixty bucks in that break? So that is a lot of great stuff in the, in the room. Cannot wait to get started. And let's not forget the practice squad, by the way. Oh yeah. Uh, we have twelve, ten boxes left uh, in that series, and we got ourselves, believe it or not, five photoed headliners, Alex, including a Josh Allen. Lunar Authentic that retails for about 1200 bucks on Fanatics.com. Look at that. So cannot wait to get started. 
How are you doing today? I'm doing good. It's a nice Wednesday here, and uh, I'm ready for a fire show with uh, that new vault. Yes, yes. I think we got to, you know, it's probably going to be one of those deals where, to be honest with you, I hope it heats up right away, but it's going to be one of those things where we knock out one or two breaks this show, we knock out one or two early the next show, then when it gets to about 4 o'clock, that break absolutely explodes. Mm -hmm. From 4 to 5, 5.30, it's nonstop vault action. And then that carries into the 6 p.m. show, and we see Tom Brady tonight. Simple as that. Uh, that's yeah. that's probably going to happen. Uh, so we have the chases, the one and four. Uh, but heading on over to our wheel of names, rather our uh, dice roll. Let's see what our dice roll is for the program. Looking for six or higher here. Uh, three and a two, that won't do. Uh, how about four and a two? Uh, six will do, as low as we can go. Six clicks on the dice roll. I don't think we have any pre-fills yet, Alex, but we are close on a bunch of breaks. Oh, yeah. So let's take a look at that top-to-bottom rundown for you guys. Uh, we will start with uh, the practice squad, like I mentioned. Uh, we got ten boxes left. Uh, we have actually five photoed headliners and six in all. So 60% chance at a headliner, full-size authentic Josh Allen, uh, the second-best quarterback in the game. Uh, his autograph value... Only going to skyrocket on Josh Allen. Uh, we got the Jerome Bettis Authentic for the Steelers Lunar. Uh, top 10 running back of all time. He is 8th all time in rush yards. We got uh, Roger Staubach Authentic. In my opinion, the best Dallas quarterback ever. And that's a flash. The DeMarcus Ware rep. One of the best pass rushers to ever play the game. And let's not forget about the Adrian Peterson full-size rep. Uh, top 5 all time in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns. There's a Jared Allen secondary headliner too uh, which gets us to a 60 percent chance at a headliner in that break uh diamond helmets this is i was gonna say the best odds but it's probably the jerseys but outside of the jerseys the second best odds at headliners in this uh in this series only 16 boxes left alex nine photoed authentic headliners including ladanian tomlinson with that nfl mvp inscription on that new salute to service uh, obviously, that was one of the best seasons ever. Most touchdowns in a single season, the great LT. Uh, I would say the best running back ever for me is Barry Sanders on the retro line authentic with the Lion King inscription. I got a top five quarterback ever on the Joe Montana flash authentic. Uh, we got Warren Moon, Hall of Fame 06, the first African-American quarterback inducted in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And probably for me, along with maybe Drew Brees, the most underappreciated quarterback of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron Donald, the best D-tackle ever, just retired, but you can still find his autograph in our break room. And then Dak Prescott, uh, the Dallas Cowboy quarterback. I talk about what if Josh Allen wins a Super Bowl and his value skyrockets. What if Dak Prescott Ooh. wins a Super Bowl? Talk about value, man. Uh, speaking of Super Bowls, this guy's won multiple. Jerry Rice, the GOAT receiver on that beautiful Lunar with the gold ink. Then a custom Terry McLaurin flex. Uh, that thing is absolutely nuts. Salute the service speed flex. Ripped with the silver and the white. Such a beautiful, beautiful lid. Speaking of beautiful, the best autograph in the game, Curtis Martin. Uh, it's, it's a real autograph, a real human being signed that helmet. I know, I know, it's hard to believe, but it is B-E-utiful. Uh, do have the Marshall Falk secondary headliner. I can confirm Marshall Falk is a Rams hit. Uh, so that NFC West is a hot spot. Montana, Donald Rice, Marshall Falk. I mean, you hit a Jerry Rice and a Joe Montana. Those two lids combined, more than $1,000 value for just $174 in the Diamond Helmets. Uh, we got eight to go in the Can't Miss jerseys, like I mentioned earlier. Only eight boxes left. We have five headliners, including four photoed headliners. In my opinion, two top 10 quarterbacks ever, Dan Marino, John Elway, one of the best five corners ever, Champ Bailey on a stat jersey. And then we have the juice, OJ Simpson as well. Uh, the secondary headliner is George Pickens. Then we have, as it says in the series, eight boxes have an entry into a live break at the conclusion of the series for a chance at a Jim Brown camel replica helmet. Five entries down, three to go. So every single box is either a headliner a secondary headliner or an entry that is a 100% chance at a headliner. Look at that. that is nuts. 
Uh, we got ourselves only 19 college boxes left, including eight headliners, including seven photoed headliners. The one secondary guy is a former Blitnikoff Award winner and a Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. As for the photoed headliners, my favorite one left is the Roger Staubach suspension helmet. Uh, the Navy with the Heisman Trophy inscription, uh, that thing is absolutely incredible. Uh, do have Jamar Chase Authentic, speaking of Blitnikoff Award winners, uh, the beautiful LSU lid. We did just fill up a can't miss jersey, so that's coming up here shortly, guys. But another great receiver, Chris Carter, in here. You can pair the Chris Carter with the Nebraska Triple Sign Heisman Authentic. You can pair Jamar Chase with, how about this, Fran Tarkenton Georgia Authentic. Ooh. Never seen the Viking legend in our break room on our Georgia lid. Uh, that is new. Uh, we got some good Miami lids, Ed Reed, Andre Johnson, ACC double up potentially. Uh, so a lot of good stuff in the fight song, full-size college helmet mixer. Uh, five to go in that practice squad again. $1,200 retail value on fanatics.com for a Josh Allen authentic. And you can get that for $47 in the practice squad. Demarcus Ware, Roger Staubach, Jerome Bettis, Adrian Peterson all still left with only 10 boxes left. Two to go on the one and four. This is the automatic chase. Uh, so whether it fills up this show or the next show, it'll be the chase for the next two shows. Uh, so you can actually win two items and the chase wheel spin potentially in this series. For example, you can double up uh, in the football spot. Jay Jettas with the five sig Miami lid. Now we're talking, you know, somewhere in the ballpark of around two grand value for those two combined. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. But certainly considerably more than 260 bucks, Alex, for those two lids combined. You can double up with six autographs. Laker legends, Celtic legends. We got Bird, Mikhail, and Parrish, former teammates in the 80s, NBA champs. Uh, we got Hall of Famers for the Lakers. Magic, James Worthy. They were teammates. Jerry West as well on that ball. Uh, the logo. You can double up with the baseball spot. Nolan Ryan, Adley Rutschman. You can double up with the everything else spot. Hulk Hogan, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Burt Reynolds. A lot of great stuff left in that one and four mixer. Uh, definitely go and get that one. Uh, the newest series in the room. Uh, this is a vault full-size football mixer. Uh, let's fill that sight song. Says free, freeze, 22. Let's go. Let's make it happen. So everything is out there in this series. We have one box from the old, one from the new. Uh, obviously, the biggest name in here is the Tom Brady Speed Flex. Salute the service. About a $3,000 helmet and then some. We do have another Speed Flex, Sauce Gardner. Uh, we have a Jerry Rice Speed Flex. I don't see him on the Raiders all, to, all that often. We even have a Deion Sanders on the Ravens, Alex. Yeah. That is nuts. Aaron Donald, Terrell Davis, J.J. Watt, Emmett Smith, Joe Montana, Drew Brees, Eric Dickerson on the Flex, Nick Bosa, Aiden Hutchinson, Barry Sanders, and Lawrence Taylor. I mean... Pretty much all these guys in this series are either Hall of Famers or likely future Hall of Famers. Some of the best ever at what they did, their positions. I mean, talk about the best quarterbacks ever. You can argue that we have possibly three of the top five best ever with Brady, Breeze, and Montana. Mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe two of the top five running backs ever with Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, and probably a couple guys also in the top ten discussion, Eric Dickerson and Terrell Davis. So a lot of good stuff in that vault break. Let's get that done. The college single two to go. The one and four single four to go. Diamond single three left. Just knocked out those jerseys. Minis are wide open. Uh, got a lot of good headliners that are 11 and 25 chance, including the listing photoed guys, Randall Cunningham, Sean Alexander, Jordan Addison, Sam Laporta, DK Metcalf, Joe Green. Uh, we got Earl Campbell and AJ Brown in the legal tampering. So let's get started with the Can't Miss jersey, the first of probably eight Can't Miss jerseys for the show. Let's be honest, Alex, uh, with the headliner odds in this one. So go ahead and drop me a box number. Uh, we got Mark Hagan, Craig Crenshaw, Daniel Pouts, James Stanhope, Chris Ripka, Blake Bitten, and David Jackson. Uh, so this Jim Brown helmet will be coming out today. Uh, whether it's this show, the next show, or tonight's show, uh, no doubt about it, we'll have that drawing for the Jim Brown helmet today. And that'll be when the series is done, Alex. Not when the last three entries are pulled, when the series altogether is done. But we pulled the last three entries. What does that mean? It means every box left is a headliner. So this will go no problem. 
Uh, JJ, I just went over a top to bottom rundown. If you do want to rewind about 10 seconds, you can kind of find out everything. Uh, but really, almost everything is left in the one and four. I know the Mahomes went, Hulk Hogan, Dale Jr., five Miami autograph helmet, Jay Jettas, Burt Reynolds, Laker triple sign, Celtic triple sign, Nolan Ryan, and Adley Rutschman. Do have secondary guys, J.J. Watt, Paul Pierce, and Chuck Norris. Let's do box 12. And typically, unless we have a bunch of pre-fills, I will often do a top to bottom rundown at the beginning of the show. Uh, so if you're tuning in within the first 10, 15 minutes, uh, you can definitely rewind and see that top to bottom rundown. We actually don't have 12. It's not on the ticker either. So I gotta be one that's on the ticker. You also gotta be in the break to call it out. So Mark, Craig, Daniel, James, Chris, Blake, and David. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds on a box number. Nobody wants that 21 to 26 section. I guess. It was 19 to 26 <laughs> yesterday. They finally called 20. So all the low ones they wanted, but they don't want that middle to high section. They should have wanted it with the odds. I mean, there's headliners or entries in all of them. So 21 to 26 is straight up fire. Uh, so I'll give you guys about 20 seconds here. Free fries, if you don't mind confirming uh, who you are in this break. Because I want to make sure I don't recognize that name. And you can only call out numbers if you are physically in the break. Because what happens a lot of times, random people call out numbers. We do that box and the guys in the break get mad. They're like, ah, uh, you know, that's the wrong box. It could have been a better box. So what? what is your name in the break, Free Fries? And I, I don't see Angel Garcia in this break either. So I do need the name confirmation and or an order number. Um, Daniel Pouts. There we go. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, so there you go. 22. Thank you. Thank you. And David also wanted 22. So 22 it is. Let me get 22 off the ticker. So what, what's your squad, Daniel? David as well. I know those guys aren't brand new, but I don't, I don't know their squads. Relatively new guys here. And, and on hell, this is a live break room. We run live breaks. Uh, you have a one in eight chance to win our breaks, unless it's the one in four of the college. Uh, here's that live break page link on, on hell. You can get your break spots uh, right there. You can also watch the video on the top right-hand corner to see what's going on. But the best way to learn, Alex, we always say, is to watch. Yeah. Uh, and this break is going to kind of show you what we do here. I see one to go and what most would consider our best break, which is the diamonds. Mm. Let's go. 87 bucks a spot for authentic helmets worth five, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, and sometimes more than a thousand dollars. Not too bad for 87 bucks. All right, let's throw these guys in the randomizer. Our first of probably eight jerseys in the can't miss uh, this show for sure this day. So dice roll was six. It was six clicks. David Jackson up top in the NFC North. Chris Ripka's got the NFC South. NFC East is James Stanhope. Mark Hagan, NFC West. We got Craig Crenshaw, AFC North. Blake Bidden, AFC South. Craig in the AFC East. And Daniel's got the AFC West. So Craig's got the Marino spot. And Daniel's got the Elway spot. And actually, Alex, can you give me that box cutter right there? I noticed it's hanging out right there. I was like, what am I? Where is it? Like, there it is. Thank you, sir. All right, here we go. Box 22. The Emmett Smith box number. Oh, it's a really good one. It's a really good one. Box number mojo, Daniel. Um, one of the best corners ever. 12 Pro Bowls, which is the most ever for a corner. Also, the most passes deflected. And actually, this is a stat jersey, so there's probably going to be more stats on here. Uh, 12 Pro Bowls, like I said, seven time All Pro selection, 203 career passes defended. That is an NFL record. 52 career picks, Hall of Fame, 2019 inscription, Champ Bailey on the beautiful navy and orange jersey. Uh, this is the best cornerback I've ever seen personally. Uh, I know I saw the end of Deion Sanders' career, so I can't really say I saw prime, prime time. Uh, Ty Law's great. Darrell Rivas is great. I had to pick one of the corners I watched. This guy, for me, is the best, Champ Bailey. So good hit, Daniel Pouts. 
Uh, one spot on that break, you hit with one spot, uh, you are pretty much profiting guaranteed. A uh, good get on Champ Bailey. Oh, yeah. I've been loving it. I've been saying it, too. All the stat jerseys we're getting. We've been having so many. I love the stat jerseys. Mm -hmm. I love the stat jerseys, personally. I mean, you know it, because I, I like to list off stats, yeah. Alex. Yeah. They, it does my work for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, these are cool. Uh, let's go, says Daniel. There we go, Daniel. And believe it or not, this is, you know, one of the, what, ten best, maybe five best Broncos ever. Yeah. It's not even the best Bronco in this series. No. John Elway still lurking. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I love the stat jersey. Just a, la a nice little bonus touch. It is Beckett certified with that QR sticker on the jersey. You scan the sticker for your authenticity. Uh, but good job there, Daniel, on the Champ Bailey jersey. Cool. And that's a name that's uh, definitely a headliner in a jersey break, even a can't miss. But that is often a filler hit in the diamonds. Yeah. I talk about 10 headliners in 16 boxes. I want to see what the other six boxes are, Alex. I want to see it soon, too. One spot to go, you said? Yeah, that's it in the, in the diamond single. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Making moves, baby. Making moves on that break page. Champ Bailey. Love that. Kind of had that blockbuster trade early in his career. It was yeah. Champ Bailey, Clinton Portis. I mean, both teams, it was kind of a win-win, but I still think Denver uh, got, you know, obviously the even the better deal. The long-term deal, right? 12 Pro Bowls. A cornerback will last you a lot longer than a running back, typically. I guess in today's game, it's probably even more valued. Yeah, oh, definitely. I know back probably then is. the running back was more valued, but in today's game, uh, definitely... Uh, you know, the corner is very, very valued. Yeah, there's at least two to three corners getting drafted in the first round compared to a running back. Besides yeah. last year, you take out last year, there's two. Yeah, every, I think the draft, though, I know you're really big into it. I am, too. A lot of quarterbacks and receivers very oh, early yeah. in the draft. Receivers, quarterbacks, and linemen. Yeah, that, that oh, makes sense. The big three. The big three. I guess even the big four if you want to go offensive and defensive linemen because uh, they're both great spots. Uh, so one to go on the diamond double. I know uh, Fries wants to fill up that college. Are you in the single or the double? Because the single is two to go. Uh, the double is three to go. Both of those will likely fill this program. Practice squad also four to go in the single. And we have a serious action in that ball break. Oh, yeah. Uh, with the $3,000 plus dollar Brady helmet. Uh, salute the service, Tom Brady. That thing is nasty. Craig, if you're out there, I sent you an email, says Sean Blasco. There you go, Sean. So I'll drop some links in of some breaks that are coming up. I'll start with this diamond single. This one should only last, you know, hopefully a few seconds, to be honest. Uh, and then we have the uh, practice squad single four to go. That will fill this program. Again, Josh Allen, Lunar Authentic. You can get that for... $47 in the practice squad. Retail value of about $1,200 on Fanatics for Josh Allen. I know we had a customer in the chat yesterday saying he saw it for $600 online. I looked it up. He was right. There was one that was for $600. There was also some that were for $700, some for $800, some for $900, and some as high as $1,200, Alex. So whenever we tell you guys the value, how much is a helmet worth, however much someone's willing to pay for it, right? Because... The values are very, very different out there. I know Fanatics is a official retailer, and that is what they value that helmet at twelve hundred. You might find it cheaper on eBay. You also could potentially run the risk of, you know, not being authenticated. You know, some damage on the helmet, so on and so forth. But either way, whether it's six hundred or twelve hundred for a Josh Allen helmet, that is considerably less than uh, forty, or considerably more than forty-seven dollars. Excuse me. So, Craig is not interested in jerseys, but would be uh, in the Elway lid. All right, so John Elway, always a big guy to get. So I dropped in the Diamonds, the Practice Squad. Let me drop in the College as well, because those two are very, very close. The College break. 31 people watching, Alex. Hello, yeah. hello. Hi, Mom. And then that Vault is only three to go. The one in four is only two to go. We have a lot of breaks that are knock, knock, knocking on that door, right? Oh, yeah, big time. 
Just about every break we have. Yeah, everything. I think we might do the cycle, and we're close on just about everything. So I'm dropping those individual links to make it nice and easy for you guys to knock out those breaks. You know, I know we always say the cycle. Let's hit a three home run game. Let's get the vault, the diamonds, and the one and four done. Ooh, that's a good one. Going to go Reggie Jackson on us here, Alex. Let's call it a triple-double, get all the doubles done. Yeah, you can bet on that. Yeah. Right? Shohei Otani, he's had a th three home run game, right? I hope so. Uh, I would assume. I would assume. Uh, so. I might have to interpret that. You might have to interpret that. Nice. Uh, what a messy, messy mm -hmm. situation. I'm waiting for more information. I hate to say it, Alex, but I'm waiting for more information. I, I, I don't know what is known, what isn't known. I don't know if we'll ever know for sure, but... I am hashtag waiting for more info. From what I'm guessing and what I would have put money on okay. in this ironic situation yes. is that he just trusted the wrong people. Yes, that's what we're hoping for. Yeah. Uh, unless they have evidence to really be 100% certain, that's also what the MLB well, is going to go he with. He was more than just an interpreter. They were good friends. He yeah. had a, a lot of access to a lot of his things. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what happens a lot of times. Athletes yeah. trust the wrong people, get burned uh, money-wise. I know what happened to Baker Mayfield recently. The Bake Show. He lost all of his, a lot of his money from right? uh, whoever was doing his financials. Uh-oh. We got one of the most... Uh, uh, <laughs> I know. We hate when we see this. Free Fry says, I'll buy one more fight song spot if someone else goes in. So Free Fry's... If you're going to do it, just do it. Just do it. I, I'll be honest with you because... Here's what happens if the break is two to go. As soon as it gets to one to go, it fills. What's probably going to happen to Free Fries is that he won't get the spot. The break will fill before he gets in. Mm -hmm. The closer spot will win. Then he'll be regretting it the rest of the week. Uh, so I would get the spot right now. With the break being two away, you get it to one away, then it sells out pretty much right yeah. away. Sometimes people just scan through the break page. They see one. They're like, oh, I'm going to go close it. I'm going to close it. Yeah. So if you, if you make that first move, Free Fries... That break will fill up right away because I know it's weird, but one or two away is actually kind of a, a massive difference sometimes for guys psychologically. You did get a practice squad closed, though. All right, let's go. Jeffrey saw it three away, and he's like, I'll take that. I'll take that. So, I mean, all it takes is one person to buy in, and then you miss out on getting that potential closer spot and that sick lid. This is the single, right, Alex? Yeah, the single. Practice squad single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number to talk to quote Allen Iverson we're talking about practice not the game AI we're talking about practice baby uh Gisela Luster Chris Abermatz John Sutter Blake Bidden and Jeffrey Greco let me know on a box number uh still looking for three authentics in the Ooh. final 10 boxes How about that in the practice squad 30 percent chance on an authentic 50 percent chance at a photo headliner 60% if we count the secondary names. That's not too shabby. I mean, honestly, if you buy out a whole practice squad break and you hit any of the authentics, uh, even if it's, you know, Jerome Bettis or Roger Staubach, what is that, 8 times 47? We're looking at, like, less than 400 bucks. You're going to get your money's worth if you hit the authentic, obviously, Alex. You don't hit the authentic, maybe not, but it's... If you're feeling lucky... You might consider buying out the single yourselves, guys. Or you could just guarantee yourself an authentic like Robert wants and close out that diamond. Let's go, Robert. Now that one, obviously Robert's not guaranteed to win, but it is a guaranteed authentic. The diamond's all authentics. All right, box seven. John Sutter, known for box number mojo. It's what the man does. It's a lot of stuff with that box number mojo. All right, so box seven will go six clicks for the first practice squad. Uh, we could knock out all ton of them this show. I don't see why we shouldn't, yeah. Alex, right? Uh, with the headliner ratio so good, and would you look at that. Speaking of box number mojo, John Sutter, uh, the best helmet left, the most valuable helmet left. I guess, obviously, in my opinion, for other guys, it's different, but it's the Josh Allen, and he's got the AFC East. A guy that's better than Donovan McCoy. Yes. We, we were just going off Colin, you know, yesterday. And I was like, Colin, come on. <laughs> come on. You just you just got to know. Uh, Jeffrey's got the NFC North. Gisela's got the NFC South. Jeffrey, NFC East. Jeffrey, NFC West. Blake's got the AFC North. Okay, Blake. Could be the bus. Jerome Bettis. Uh, by the way, that NFC East, Jeffrey, that could be 
Jamarcus Ware, or could be Roger Staubach. And Jeffrey also has the Adrian Peterson spot, and likely the Jared Allen spot, too. So he's sitting pretty. Uh, if it's not the Josh Allen or the Jerome Bettis, uh, Jeffrey's got some excellent, excellent spots. Chris in the AFC South, John in the top spot, AFC East for Josh Allen, and then Chris Abermatz out there in the AFC West. Box 7 coming up here. 7 of 35. Good luck, guys. Let's see what we got here in the practice squad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a full-size authentic, Alex. It's a headliner, of course. It's Roger the Dodger Staubach. Uh, the nice flash authentic with the uh, Beckett QR code on the back. Uh, that's the NFC East. It is Jeffrey Greco with, in my opinion, the best Dallas Cowboy quarterback ever. Multi-time Pro Bowler, two-time Super Bowl champion, an absolute legend. Uh, how about it, Jeffrey? Got a bunch of spots, Jeffrey did. But because he hit an authentic, not a mini, not a jersey, this was money well spent. Uh, John says, nice, wrong East. Yeah, John would have wanted this one as a Cowboy fan. It is the NFC East that hits with the Staubach Flash Authentic. Very, very good, Jeffrey, man. I just can't get over 47 bucks for an Authentic. I mean, we got diamonds that are 87 bucks a spot, 174 for a double, 348 for a quad. We get the high roller, the one in four, the vault. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no series that you can get an Authentic for cheaper than this one, 47 bucks in the practice squad. We always say it, no matter who the Authentic is, we're talking, you know, low ball at 300 bucks for the authentic by itself. Oh, yeah. You add the autographs, you add the custom lids. Sometimes these go five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, sometimes more than a thousand, depending on who the name is. Uh, authentics are the most valuable items in the break room, typically by a pretty big shot. You know, unless we're talking about like a massive, like, baseball bat of Griffey or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Typically, you're not going to beat the authentics. Uh, as far as value, also as far as look. I mean, look at this thing. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And speaking of authentics, more coming. The Diamonds are next. Uh, Gisela's in here. Of course, she's oh, a yeah. Niner fan. Uh, wants Montana, wants Jerry Rice. The two best Niners of all time for me. Uh, Mark's in here. Chris Abermatz, Craig Crenshaw, uh, Tony Martini, Chris Kohler, Robert Elbrecht. I think, was it Craig Crenshaw or Craig Joseph last night? I get the Craigs mixed up. But one of them is looking for the Montana because they want to get the top 10 quarterback collection. And he's got like four or five, and he's missing like four or five of the top 10 QBs of all time. And definitely Montana is top 10. I would say definitely top five for me. Uh, Montana says Craig Joseph. So that's the other Craig. Uh, we have Chris Kohler in here. Uh, wants lucky box number 13. All right, Chris. Let's do 13 of the diamond helmets. You think 13 is lucky or unlucky, Alex? I'm an unlucky 13. Person. Unlucky 13. Okay. I haven't decided yet because my grandma uh, always said 13 was a really, really bad number. And then it's my girlfriend's favorite number. So I don't know who to trust, Alex. I think it's just because of Friday the 13th. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Did uh, who was free fries? Free fries was David. Did he get in that uh, college break? He did. All right, he took our advice. One spot to go. Good job, David. One other guy jumps in. That break will fill in the next five minutes. Uh, the fight song, college single box. All right, in open field, thirteen coming up. I figured out why this is called the in open field because. In my opinion, if I had to pick the two guys in NFL history that I would least want to tackle in the open field, uh, I would pick Barry Sanders and Tyreek Hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those two guys, man. Good luck uh, catching those guys with all the spins, the speed. Uh, we did pull the cheetah, but obviously Barry Sanders still left. Honestly, I think everything minus Tyreek Hill and uh, the Jordan Love is left in this series. So a couple flexes gone, but... Everything else that's good, all the big names, still very much out there uh, in the Diamond Helmets. 
10 and 16 chance at a headliner. 9 and 16 at a photo headliner, Alex. That means it's a better than 50% chance this thing is going to be a photo headliner. All right, Craig Crenshaw up top in the NFC North. We got Gisela Luster right below in the NFC South. Tony Martini sipping martinis in the NFC East. We got Chris Kohler out there in the NFC West. That is a spot with four headliners out there. There's actually a 25% chance Chris is getting a headliner with the NFC West right here. Now we got Chris Abramatz in the AFC North, Robert Albrecht, the AFC South, Mark Hagen, AFC East, and Craig Crenshaw in one of my favorite spots, LaDainian Tomlinson spot in the AFC West. Here we go, box 13 coming up, 13 of 30. Such an awesome series, diamonds were hot last night, hopefully they're hot today as well. I mean, they should be with the headliner ratios, right? Yeah. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Anytime I feel a visor, that's usually Ooh. a good sign, Alex. Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's flex on him, Tony. Oh, man. We got Terry McLaurin on the ripped speed flex. It's an STS. It's actually a Redskin helmet, too. Not, not a commander, not a Washington football team. It's a Washington Redskin helmet. Uh, with the beautiful silver, we got the white coming across, a uh, Pro Bowl wide receiver, a guy that gets over 1,000 yards consistently, a guy that's going to get a new quarterback, Alex. Yeah, he is. I don't know which one it's going to be, but it's going to be probably an improvement. Uh, nice hit, Tony Martini, on the Terry McLaurin speed flex. Yeah, I think he's already proven it doesn't matter who's throwing him the ball. He's going to no. come down with it. Right? Got great hands. Uh, makes great, you know, great plays. Mm -hmm. Wow, great helmet, says Robert. Right on, Robert. Like I always say on these custom lids, the speed flexes, the custom lids, I can say comfortably worth more than a thousand bucks. If you're patient, this could pay off. Or if you're also just a collector, not a guy that's just looking to flip helmets, this is like a centerpiece, man. Yeah, I saw a lot of those type of helmets in the high roller. Yeah, actually, actually with this one exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that high roller was loaded with these. Mm -hmm. I like them. I, I, I slightly prefer the chromes, personally. But this is my next. Like, I like this better than the hydros, personally. Yeah. It is personal preference, of course. Uh, sweet helmet, says Chris. Uh, great hit right there. Tony Martini on Terry McLaurin. It's a TM for a TM. <laughs> All right. Look at that. This one is pretty safely in the hit video today. Oh, yeah. Uh, this yeah. is absolutely beautiful. You could probably put the Jim Brown to the side. I know we'll we'll be talking about him as we go, uh, but good job, Tony, on Terry McLaurin. Love this lid, man. Yeah, the Vegas odds are jumping up for J.J. McCarthy to be his new quarterback. They said he had the best pro day ever, and I'm like... According to Jim Harbaugh. Who cares? You know why Jim Harbaugh is doing that. He wants him to go in the top four. Yeah, of course he does. Then, yeah. then he was saying that the Chargers technically have the first pick. Ah, you see? That's four quarterbacks, and then Marvin Harrison Jr. falls into Justin Herbert. Herber should, should he have utilized them more? I mean, who's to say they won a national championship? So, uh, I know it's one of those they say that he was held back at Michigan, had really good third down completions, you know, has a big arm... Didn't have the stats. He only had one loss, though, in a championship. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's, it's very hard to project to the next level. Personally, I just don't care that much about the pro day. No. I mean, no. there's nobody in your face. You don't have pads on. Uh, it's just a whole different thing. You know who had a great pro day? Zach Wilson. Uh, well, he him, too. Jamarcus Russell. Him, too. And I'll give you one other one. Blaine Gabbert, former oh, Mizzou Tiger no. quarterback who I went to college with him. I covered his games in college. And sorority girls at Mizzou were like, he's a top 10 pick? No way. <laughs> so, I'm sure Kristen Ponder had a great pro day. Yeah, I just, you know, if you had a big arm and you're athletically built, no one's in your face, you just got to throw the ball, it does make it a lot easier. But Caleb, Caleb Williams pro day, it's awesome. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> we, we're going to go off him. Good to see. Now, we always talk about the NFL draft, the top four picks, the top five picks. There is great guys going late in the draft. For example, oh, uh, Joe Montana was a third-round pick. Mm -hmm. He's in our break room. Dak Prescott was a third or fourth, Alex. He what wasn't he fourth. I think it might have been fourth. He's also in the diamonds. Warren Moon, uh, was he even drafted? I don't think he was drafted, Warren Moon. I don't even know. Uh, so you could be a Hall of Fame quarterback without getting drafted. Uh, you could be in the break room. Tom Brady, a sixth-round pick out there in the vault. 
Uh, so a lot of good stuff. Also, Drew Brees, a second round pick. Mm -hmm. He's in the vault as well. Uh, so do not have to be a top four or five pick uh, to be a big time star. So we close out that college and we're one away on the uh, one and four double. Yeah. Would you look at what happened to uh, you know our guy Free Fries, which that sounds really delicious, by the way. Mm. Uh, he got the one spot, and sure enough, Alex, it filled up within five minutes. We told him. That's what we told him. We don't lie up in here. We don't lie. We just have, we have great predictions. Yes, we do. I think we've done it long enough to know yeah. uh, what's going to happen. College single number one, drop me a box number. We got Kyle Sherman, Craig Crenshaw, Daniel Pouts, and Zachary Wright. Uh, Kyle Sherman, let us know what squad you like and how you heard about UA. I uh, love to ask all the new guys who they are repping in the break room. And I guess squad could extend to NFL football, college football. Yeah, we get everything here. Could be NBA, MLB. Uh, stuff we have in the 1-4 could be hockey. Maybe you're a soccer fan like me. You're a fan of Leo Messi. Wherever he goes, that's where your heart follows, perhaps. So, who knows? Uh, let me know, guys, for the fight song. March Madness back tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait. Well, that'll be fun. I uh, can't wait to take down Matt in the UA pool. <laughs> second place behind uh, the boss man. Uh, Going to be a lot of fun. So I'll give you guys about 30 seconds here in the fight song. And we are right there, Alex. Two to go in the vault double. One to go in the one and four double. Three left in the practice squad single. Three left in the college double. Uh, we are literally right there on just about almost every break. So all those that are three or less away are going to fill within the next 30 minutes, I would say, for mm -hmm. sure. Zachary writes he wants 34. All right, Zachary... The Walter Payton box. 34. You know what 34 has been a filler hit in the college? Earl Campbell. Oh. Ricky Williams. Former Heisman Trophy winners for Texas. Uh, that's the type of stuff that could just be lurking in there. Not just necessarily photoed headliners. Alright, thank you Alex. We got three, four... Five and six clicks. Craig Crenshaw up top in the Big Ten. We got the Big 12 for Kyle. Daniel's got the ACC, the Pac-12, and the SEC. Uh, SEC just means more, baby. And then everything else for Zachary Wright. Fight song number one. 34 of 35. All right, this is all full-size helmets. Reps are authentics. We do have a full-size rep here. And this is what this college series is all about. So I always tell the guys in the college series, you want to get the guy on his college team. You want to get a guy... I mean, obviously, it helps if the NFL career is great, too. Mm -hmm. But when I think of the college series, I think of how good was the guy in college. This is one of the best college quarterbacks to ever play the game. Heisman Trophy winner, oh, national champ. Like it that. is Jameis Winston, the Heisman 13 inscription, the Eclipse, uh, Florida State lid, the ACC, Daniel Pouts. Uh, congrats on uh, your famous Jameis Winston helmet. Very nice. And I, he's been up and down in the NFL. We did have more than 30 touchdowns, more than 5,000 yards. He's been a pro bowler. Uh, he just hasn't quite lived up to that hype, but definitely an incredible college quarterback and pretty good for a filler hit, right? Like, you get this oh, as yeah. a filler hit, uh, you got to be happy. I mean, you know, he had one of the best college seasons ever. He did? Like, that Florida State team, I mean, Florida State hasn't done anything since him. And I, mean, look I, know at, I know they should have probably made the playoff this last year, but yeah, besides that. they shouldn't have. But that could be a whole other can uh, of I'm worms. I'm with you on that, but I know yeah. other people Other people, uh, other people like Colin yeah. Rudiso yeah. Would disagree. Uh, how about this? Free Fries, Daniel Pouts is a Browns fan, which is where oh, Jameis Winston is at right now. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, with Deshaun Watson's injury history, yeah, Jameis might get a chance. And with that Browns team, he could do really good. Yes, he can. I got some good wideouts out there. Amari Cooper, one of the most underappreciated guys. Yep, Jerry Judy now. Yeah. Ben Njoku, hopefully Nick Chubb comes back the same. God. That AFC North is absolutely it's, loaded. I think it's crazy how both a, like both Norths are just loaded. Yeah, they are. I think. I think the AFC North, top to bottom, is the best division in football because 
All four teams could finish over 500. All four teams, I mean, not all four are going to make the playoffs, but they're all going to be competing for playoff spots, no doubt. If, if the, Everyone was over 500 last year, right? I think the yeah, Bengals, Bengals finished one over. Yep. Yeah. That was with Joe Burrow missing games. Exactly. <laughs> Scary. Scary. And then tell you what about the Steelers. They're going to get an upgraded quarterback. You know, you, you can yep. say what you want about Russell Wilson or Justin Fields. I'll say this. They're both better than Kenny Pickett. Yeah, every quarterback that went out there last year, they're both better. Than yes. Well, you're very welcome, Daniel. If you are a Browns fan, I recommend you jump in that Can't Miss Jersey series. We have seven jerseys left. Uh, we have four headliners and three entries for a chance at a Jim Brown full-size rep helmet, which we open at the end of the series. So, for example, if Daniel gets an entry, he'd have a one in eight chance at the Jim Brown. Now, yeah. if he gets the entry, he still gets whatever the item is in the break. So it's the entry plus the jersey uh, in that break. So that's got to be exactly where he's headed. And you did mention David Njoku, a secondary headliner in those minis as well. So what are we doing next? I think let's showcase this vault. I know we showed it off earlier, uh, but this is probably the best headliners in the room. It's a mix of authentics and reps. Uh, but this is, it'll show you what each helmet is right here in the listing, by the way. So, for example, Tom Brady's a speed flex. A Tom Brady flex will run you north of $3,000 on value. Uh, Rice is a flex. Barry Sanders authentic. Emmett Smith authentic. Drew Brees is a rep. Watts authentic. Deion Sanders is authentic. Joe Montana's a rep. Dickerson is a speed flex. Bosa authentic. Donald authentic. Hutchinson authentic. Then we got a speed flex sauce Gardner and reps Terrell Davis and uh, Lawrence Taylor. So we have one box from the old series, one box from the new series. There are five boxes left in the old series. And one of those five is J.J. Watt. We actually have a possibility to double up with two J.J. Watts in here. Yeah. So once we clear out the five boxes in the old series, a.k.a. five double box breaks, it'll be just the new series by itself, Alex. Uh, so, we've seen Mahomes go early. We've seen Brady go early. I know it's 164 a spot, but there is not a single helmet in our break room worth more than a Tom Brady speed flex. I mean, uh, salute the service speed flex at that with a visor. Yeah. I mean, that's like a $3,000 plus dollar helmet. Could be even a little bit more depending on where you sell it and how patient you are or how lucky you are. Uh, but, man, for 164 bucks, you get something worth... Give or take about three grand, Alex. That is pretty, pretty crazy. For all the money Tom Brady saved, uh, you know, the contracts that he said, I'm going to take less money, he's taking it all back on his autographs. Oh, yeah. And his uh, Fox football contract. Yeah. He's taking all his money back now, uh, Mr. Tom Brady. All these are out there, by the way, uh, in the vault, the full-size vault mixer. What do we got, Alex? I know an order just came in. Yeah, we're close to that practice squad single, two away. Still one away on the one and four double. Like you just said, we're talking about the vault, two away. Yeah, so knock, knock, knocking on that door. What's up, Gisela? She got in that practice squad. Uh, Gisela's sitting pretty right now because uh, she is a 49er fan. And we got Niners in the diamonds. We got Niners in the vault. Uh, so the two best breaks, arguably, in the room, along with the one and four, are full of San Fran 49ers. Uh, so let's get those knocked out. And for the guys that want a little bit lower entry point, like I said, the jerseys, 37 a spot. Uh, we got every box is either a headliner or an entry for the Jim Brown. 47 a spot for the practice squad. You can get a Josh Allen authentic. Uh, we do only have, what, is it eight boxes left now? Eight boxes left in the practice squad. So uh, it should be nine, right? We did one single so far. Oh, it is nine. Excuse me, nine boxes left. Still though, uh, four headliners, uh, five total, counting the Jared Allen in the practice squad. So about a 50-50 shot at a headliner there. Uh, that's not too shabby. So then that college double also only three to go. Yeah. One in four is one to go. Uh, so we are right there in a bunch of breaks. We just need closers. Mariano Rivera is needed in the break room. Where's William McPherson at? I know. He was the closer last Wednesday. He was. He was. 
He's got to be back from vacation, right? Oh, yeah. Maybe. He's a Washington fan. He missed out on this lid, though. That's uh, Kerry Terry McLaurin. Here we go. A couple orders coming in. I imagine we must be closed on something, right? Just getting closer and closer. Oh, oh, oh. I thought we were closed. I think practice squad is like one to go, maybe? Yeah, I think it's one. One to go in the practice squad. Uh, single box. So then two to go on that college as well. I know Craig Crenshaw is getting in here. You know what he wants. The Fran Tarkenton Georgia Authentic. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's a big Georgia fan. Uh, I mean, more iconic Georgia Bulldog than Fran Tarkenton. I mean... Stetson Bennett. Stetson Bennett won two national titles. If we're looking at pro career, here's one. Fran Tarkenton or Matthew Stafford. It's probably Fran Tarkenton. Ooh. You look at the Pro Bowls he made. I know it's different eras. I, I never, you know, the I, numbers I, yeah. will fa favor Stafford. But, man, Fran Tarkenton was so good Stafford back then. Super Bowl, though, too. He does. He does. Uh, both legends of the Georgia Bulldogs. Here we go. Christopher Ripka says... He's another closer. I'm shutting that door. Chris Ripka had probably the hit of the night last night. He comes in the chat like about 9, 9.30, late in the show. And he's like, who won the Jordan Love? I was like, Chris, you won the Jordan oh, Love. Oh, one of those situations. With one spot. Oh. I was like, Chris Ripka, my man, have yourself a night, brother. I uh, got that uh, beautiful two-tone flex... Uh, Jordan Love last night. One to go on that vault break. Thank you, Jeffrey Greco. Jeffrey's all over the break page today. Oh. Uh, making a bunch of moves here in the practice squad, in the vault. He can see where the value's at, right? Uh, guy is a break room vet here. So practice squad single number two. Go ahead and drop me a box number, guys. Only 12.51, Alex. Still early in the noon hour. Uh, plenty of time for more headliners. He says, ha ha, I had to step away and didn't see it. Had to go back and watch it. And Chris, I know we say this all the time, but Alex, uh, it is definitely true. The helmets look great on the stream. They look even better in person. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that is some fantastic stuff. Box 13 from John. Just ahead of Zachary who wanted uh, three. So 13 I'll get off the ticker in the practice squad. We'll see if it's lucky number 13 here for somebody. Good luck, folks. Jeffrey down to Chris. Uh, we are going six clicks here in the practice squad. This has been literally a break room favorite break. It's never slow. Never slow, the practice squad. Always a hot break here in the break room. All right. Randomizer going up. I think that vault is one to go, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we are getting close. All right, Jeffrey's got that Josh Allen spot. John's got that Jerome Bettis spot. Jeffrey in the Peterson spot as well. Uh, and Demarcus Ware spot. Let's see, NFC East would be Zachary Wright, a guy that wins a boatload of Cowboys in our break room. Uh, so, Jeffrey, you've got the NFC North and South. Zachary, NFC East. Jeffrey, NFC West. John's got the AFC North. Uh, Chris, the AFC South. Jeffrey, the AFC East. And Gisela, the AFC West. So we got a Jeffrey, a Zachary, a John, and a Chris, which is what I call the common first names. Then we have Gisela, which is a very, very unique name. Oh, so yeah. she's standing out amongst the gentlemen here as far as names go. Uh, here we go for the practice squad. Box 13 on the way. 13 of 35. This one feels heavy, Alex. Feels heavy. We got, I think it's an authentic here. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is this is crazy. These days, we have authentic fillers in our series in oh, the practice wow. squad. We got the pound-for-pound pound inscription. One of the best pound-for-pound pound running backs in the league, Austin Eckler. Gisela out there in the West taking home the Eckler Authentic. Uh, so he's now a Washington player, but mm -hmm. had a bunch of great seasons with the Chargers. 
you know, really good guy in fantasy, right? I mean, yeah. gets a lot of catches, a lot of yards. You had a receiving and rushing consistently over 1,000 yards. Always one of the top guys for touchdowns as well. A little bit of a down year this last year, but, man, he's been really good the last three or four years. Uh, Austin Eckler, authentic as a filler for 47 Dollars, Alex. Yeah, it doesn't matter who it is. Any authentic as a filler, insane. Yes, especially in a practice squad, for forty-seven bucks. Mm -hmm. Nuts, Gisela. Austin Eckler. Yeah, I know we briefly hit on this. I know they have salary cap problems. I'm not a cap expert, uh, Alex, personally, but it felt like they got rid of too many guys. I know they had to get someone had to go, but Keenan Allen went. Uh, Austin Eckler went. Mike Williams went. Gerald Everett went. They got to leave somebody for Justin Herbert. I know Quinton Johnston's talented, but they didn't leave him a single established target on that squad. So as a Chief fan, I'm not complaining. As a Bear fan, I'm certainly not complaining because they got Keenan Allen. But it was, in my opinion, a little bit odd. It was definitely odd just because they all went at the same time. Mm -hmm. It would have made sense, you know, one or two of them, but to get rid of all of them, yeah, it does seem odd. But and so you just got a new coach? Are you rebuilding? I, I mean, you have Harbaugh and I, Herbert. I think they're, they're they're retooling the whole team and keeping Justin Herbert, and that's about it. Yeah. And also, you know, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. I don't think they wanted to restructure their contracts like right. Joey Bosa and Cleo Mack did. Yeah. So that so. It all plays a part: age, money, health. I I think they're getting an offensive. Receiver in the draft, you would they, think. You would think they're going receiver or offensive lineman. Yeah. You got to either protect Herbert or get him a weapon. Uh, they need offense. Uh, great job right there. Trying to avoid dead money long term, says David. Yeah, well, I, I mean, call me call me crazy. I'm a short term guy, Alex. Obviously, I'm not saying long term doesn't matter, uh, but I'm also in that like win now mentality, and their win now probability for me uh, has gone down considerably. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll reevaluate this in five years, right, David? And we'll know what's happening in five years uh, for the Chargers. Yeah. I mean, they're already in Mahomes' division. I know. It's already going to be hard. Mm -hmm. I think you, it's it's not a bad decision to retool and try and revamp your roster. Get him in a few years. Yeah, I just, uh, it's the Chargers. I mean, obviously a lot of talent, but we say that all the time. They're, that's a team that's got to prove it to me. They got to win a playoff game. They got to make a Super Bowl because... I do have that age-old saying the Chargers gonna Charger, and they just gotta prove me otherwise, prove me wrong otherwise, Alex. Because until they do, there's been a lot of folks picking them to win the division in recent years. A lot of folks picking them to make a playoff run. I never picked the Chargers to make a playoff run. They had Tomlinson, Gates, and Rivers, and they made one AFC championship. So that's just me. That is me. D David sure. definitely knows about not having a good cap situation because the Saints never have a good cap situation. Yeah, D David knows. Uh, he knows. Uh, so we also know vault doubles coming up. Oh yeah, let's go vault double number one. Uh, drop me one number from the old and one from the new. Uh, could we have Tom Brady coming up here? I think the smarter decision for the Chargers would be to trade down and get some more picks, and you could still get a weapon. Don't have to get one. I'll tell you that. No doubt about it. Unless they know something about Quinton Johnson and we don't in the offseason, they need some weapons. Well, they also do have Justin Herbert. Like, look at Jordan Love last year. You can find receivers late yeah. and have your quarterback stuff up. That's true. Got to keep them healthy for sure, though. Uh, we got the typical Zachary Wright fashion this here. This is what he does. He wants 23 and 23. I personally appreciate that because we know we can't mix up the boxes. Not that no. you would, Alex, but it makes it... A 0% chance that either one of us would make a mistake here in the vault. Uh, so, And it's also the Michael Jordan box, which is a Bulls fan. is fantastic. Uh, 223s here from Zachary Wright. All right. We'll get you guys set up here. We are looking for Tom Brady back in the break room. It just seems like whether it's, you know, Almost every day, either Brady or Mahomes are available in our break room. Oh, yeah. Uh, these guys have become spoiled with these massive, massive uh, quarterback headliners here at UA. So six clicks. Sean Blasco has that Brady spot in the AFC East. Gisela's got the NFC North. NFC South is Chris Kohler. And a lot of guys say, I don't want the South. Well, how about a Drew Brees in the NFC South? 
Uh, not too shabby, potentially for Chris. Zachary Wright, that's the spot he wins in most often, the NFC East. Mm -hmm. He's a Niner fan, but he is glued to those Cowboys. Could be Emmett Smith in this break, for example. Uh, Michael's got the NFC West. Jeffrey's got the AFC North. Andrew's got the AFC South. Could get two J.J. Watts in here. Uh, and then we got Sean, the AFC East, and Tony, the AFC West. So Vault 23 of 35 coming up. All full-size helmets, either full-size authentic or full-size rep. No minis, no jerseys, nothing of that kind in this break. This one is an authentic, Alex. We do have an authentic here. Ooh, here we go. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, the only Bears quarterback to win a Super Bowl. It is Jim McMahon. Gisela Luster strikes again in the NFC North. Jim McMahon filler hit. Back at certified with that QR code. Uh, great get, Gisela. That's also a really good filler, Alex. Oh, Jim yeah. McMahon. Coolest guy ever. An icon in Chicago. A lot of guys don't know how great he was in college because when he retired, he had like something like 37 or 39 NCAA records. Mm -hmm. He is probably a top five college quarterback of all time. NFL career cut short by injuries, concussions, yeah. you know, all sorts of injuries. Uh, if he stayed healthy, who knows? Could have been a Hall of Famer possibly. Uh, either way, in Chicago, we love him because he's the only guy – to win the Super Bowl as a quarterback, starting quarterback for the Bears. Yep. And when he was out the next couple of years, 86, 87, 88, without him, a lot of losing. Yeah. Like the no. Bears' record with and without him in that era was massively different. Oh, no, they, were, they were going to make another playoff run, then a dirty hit happened, he got knocked out, and that was the rest of that. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of crazy. You think about that, they go 15-1, and one, uh, win the Super Bowl. They didn't, you know, they didn't get challenged the whole playoffs. Uh, I know some of those guys were a little bit older, but everyone's thinking, let's run it back, let's repeat, yeah. let's make it a dynasty. And it was cut short, not only because of him, but a large part because of injuries to Jim McMahon. Uh, so, yay, says Gisela. Yay, indeed. Uh, fantastic hit. Uh, one of my favorite memories of him, though, of course. I know I say this a lot, uh, Alex, yeah. but the White House story. Yeah. Uh, he actually, I don't think he got to go to the White House when the Bears won. So he was the backup for Brett Favre when the Packers won a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And he wore his Bear jersey. Gotta love it. That is incredible. Uh, around all his Packer teammates, he wore his Bear jersey. Uh, talk about a bear for life, Jim McMahon. So I was like, yeah, I already won. I'm hopping in the next one. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it going while you're hot. Uh, that's the way to do it. Oh, yeah, we say it all the time. Yeah, when, when you're on a heater... You don't get up from, from the table. I know that in blackjack, the same rule applies here at UA. All right, the second box here. This one is also heavy. Box 23 should be back-to-back -back authentics. What do we got here? Yeah, Prime was cut short, but he was in the league for 15 years. Yeah, but Jamie, it's like... A difference of 15. Like, we say the same thing about Der Derrick Rose. Yeah. Like, how many healthy years did he have? Yeah. Uh, we got an authentic coming up here. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, my God. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We got the GOAT running back. Ooh. Gisela doubles up. Barry Sanders on the camo authentic. Holy cow, Gisela. One spot, two authentics. Including the best running back ever for me. Every single season he played, Alex, more than 1,000 rushing yards. Every single season he played, he was in the Pro Bowl. Yeah. Kind of like Aaron Donald. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Ten years, ten Pro Bowls for yeah. both of them. Uh, man, what an iconic helmet. What an iconic player. Barry Sanders, full-size authentic for Gisela. Uh, nice double up, says Chris Ripka. You're welcome, LOL, says Zachary Wright. Uh, very, very welcome on Barry Sanders. Let's bring out that headliner fire for that one. Oh, yeah. How about it, Gisela? How about it? And yeah, the Lions have clean memorabilia, too. You get the greatest lion ever. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. The Lion King, baby. And if you're feeling bad you didn't get this helmet, got another Barry Sanders in the diamonds, by the way. Yes, do. So he is literally everywhere. Barry Sanders. I love this lid. Uh, how about it, Gisela? 
And she did have one spot in the break, spent, uh, what was it, 164 bucks? Uh, those two lids combined worth more than five times, maybe even more, six times than what she paid oh, yeah. for. Uh, great job, Gisela, on the double up. Now, that Barry Sanders documentary, which I watched a few weeks back, it is fantastic. I mean, literally, like, as great as he was, for all the numbers he put up, he could have put up so much more. Everybody oh, knows yeah. that 1,500 yards short of Walter Payton's record at the time caused it quits early. He did this his whole career, Alex. Yeah. Uh, his rookie season, he was nine yards away from Christian Okoye for the uh, league lead in rushing yards. Okoye had been done playing. It was the fourth quarter. Barry Sanders could get nine yards in one quarter. Easily. But no, no. He says, Coach, I'm done. I don't care about the rushing title. Let somebody else get the carries. Uh, this guy is truly one of a kind, Barry Sanders. I know there's certain guys we get a lot in the break room because you know, some guys are in here more often than others, but obviously Mahomes and Brady are top of the list, but Barry Sanders is another guy that I never get sick of seeing. No. You never get sick of seeing Barry Sanders. Uh, it's just fantastic, Gisela Luster. So the first headliner off the board in that new vault break. Uh, we do have one to go in that one and four still, Alex. Yep. Uh, closing in. And seven to go in the next vault. And two to go in that college. And four to go in that practice squad. Mm -hmm. So we are making moves. Making moves here in the break room. And Gisela, you know, she's hot right now. She sees the possibilities. Uh, probably looking for that Joe Montana, I imagine, in the vault. I mean, look at this series, man. I kind of like some of the unique stuff in this vault, particularly Alex. Because I've never seen... I've seen one Deion Sanders Raven item, but not a full-size authentic. No. Uh, so that's something different. Uh, obviously, Jerry Rice and the Raiders, something different. I mean, even Aiden Hutchinson, that's a the Lion alternate authentic, not one we see very often. Uh, we got the retro giant lid. Uh, man, some good stuff in this series. Sauce Gardner speed flex, Tom Brady speed flex, uh, Eric Dickerson speed flex as well. So we actually have... Four speed flexes in this series, Alex. Four speed flexes. Dang. Arguably the GOAT quarterback. Now arguably the GOAT receiver. And a top 10 running back. The GOAT single season for Eric Dickerson. 2,105 rush yards. And maybe the best current cornerback. Do you agree, Sauce Gardner? Oh, definitely. Yeah, Since he's he had the league. Look at, that, look at that green visor, too, for yeah. Sauce. Expensive that bad boy auto, is too. Sweet. A very expensive auto. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, so everything is out there but the Barry in the vault. Uh, I definitely recommend running back this break. Uh, this one is full of heat. Practice squad, like we said, four spots to go. Uh, we got, what, nine boxes left in the practice squad, Alex? Eight boxes left, excuse me. Yeah, that's it. Uh, eight boxes left. Josh Allen's still out there. Yeah, what are you uh, doing? Jerome Bett is still out there. Demarcus Ware is still out there. Adrian Peterson still out there. And we have a Jared Allen secondary headliner. Uh, so that's five and eight chance at a headliner, Alex. You kidding me? That's nuts. What did we pull in the last practice squad? That was the Roger Staubach. No, and the one before was the Austin Eckler oh, filler Eckler. authentic. Yep. Uh, so the odds are crazy good in here. Again, Josh Allen authentic worth in the ballpark of $1,000. Get it for 47 bucks. This, this practice squad might have had the most authentics I've seen because there was like three or four fillers that have been authentic helmets. I know. At it's least. crazy for 47 bucks. So that break should fill. Let's not forget about the diamond, the diamonds, man, right? We got, what did we pull the last diamond break? Did we pull a headliner? We pulled uh, one, I think. It was that. Terry McLaurin. Yeah, Terry McLaurin. So 14 diamonds left, nine headliners left. That includes LT. Here's that other Barry Sanders. By the way, LT, the running back, LaDainian Tomlinson. Uh, we got two of the best Niners ever, Jerry Rice and Joe Montana. We do have uh, Warren Moon still out there, Jack Prescott, Aaron Donald. Uh, we do have a Marshall Fox secondary headliner. Uh, so it's now a 9 and 14 chance in the Diamonds. So 49er fans, Zach Wright, Gisela Luster, if Omar Ramirez Nieves is lurking, come and get that Joe Montana. Come and get that Jerry Rice. The time to strike is now in the Diamonds. Uh, also have Bosa and I think Montana in the, in the vault. Yeah. So the break room is very, very 49er friendly right now, uh, to say the least. 
So six to go in that break. Uh, we are only two to go in the college double box. I want to see that Jamar Chase frame Tarkenton double up, right? Yeah. Uh, SEC, baby, a great spot. Roger Staubach suspension helmet. Ed Reed, Andre Johnson, Nebraska triple sign. Triple sign Heisman Nebraska helmet. Yeah. Uh, Eric Crouch, my favorite of the three, now out there on the Nebraska lid. That is knock, knock, knocking on that door. One spot to go in the one and four. Actually, no spots to go. That just sold out. The Jettas Flex could be coming out next, potentially, right? And we do have that as the wheel spin for this show and the next show as well, Alex. The good old one and four. And this is a double, right? Yeah. All right, go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys, for the one and four double box. Chris Kohler, Andrew Hurley, Zachary Wright, and Gisela Luster. Uh, let me know what two numbers you guys would like. Cruising on the brakes this afternoon. Absolutely cruising. We got the car on cruise control, and we are knocking out the heat here in the break room. Good job, guys. Uh, good job on a Wednesday afternoon. All right, Zachary wants 3 and 18 here. Chris wanted 6 and 13, but Zachary was first. We'll go 3 and 18. Looking for number 18 in box 18, Justin Jefferson. That'd be nice. That would be very nice. All right, good luck, folks. We'll get you thrown in the randomizer for our one in four double. So these four people in this break are guaranteed a chance at the chase wheel spin as well, Alex. All right, we got four, five, and six clicks. Andrew's got the football spot. Zachary right below in the basketball spot. The baseball spot is Chris and Gisela. You've got everything else here. Box three coming up, three of 40. This one feels kind of heavy, Alex. Uh, not necessarily a football authentic, though. Could be that Dale Earnhardt Jr. NASCAR uh, full-size lid. Could be a filler for all we know, right? In this series, you never know in the one and four. Oh my God. This is arguably the best helmet left in the series. Andrew Hurley, Justin Jefferson Speed Flex. Uh, the Speed Authentic Flex for the Vikings with the purple visor. Uh, this thing is absolutely sick. The silver ink on this bad boy, Andrew Hurley. You've got Jay Jettas. Somewhere Andrew is hitting that gritty uh, for the Je Justin Jefferson speed flex. I always say it, Alex, number one all time in receiving yards per game. Uh, last year, a lot of guys say, what is he going to do without Kirk Cousins? Well, Kirk Cousins missed a lot of last season, right? Justin Jefferson was number two in the league in receiving yards per game last season, only behind the Cheetah. Yeah. So when he was healthy two years ago, Led the league in receiving yards, offensive player of the year. Uh, man, sharp, sharp lid. Uh, common spoken to existence, says Jamie. Uh, man, I want one of those, says Craig. Yeah, I mean, you guys waited way, way too yeah. long in this break. Uh, it's a fantastic lid, and there is a lot of other great lids out there still in that one and four okay. for you guys to chase. So, yeah, the purple visor, Jamie, looks sick. Uh, love the visor, says Craig. It just pops. This might be, honestly, personally, I like it even more than the McLaurin because of the oh. player and the visor, Alex. This is my hit of the show. Uh, but obviously a personal preference, fantastic stuff, Justin Jefferson. It's probably my favorite standard authentic, either that or the Rams. If I had to pick two. Love the Ram standard and the Viking standard. Yeah, I know the, the purple's so nice. Yeah, it looks so clean. Mm -hmm. Uh, one in four does not like Craig. I don't know, Craig. Things change in the break room, man. Uh, they do change. Just because it doesn't work one week, sometimes it works the next week. Mm -hmm. But I do get it. Certain guys got their favorite series that they like to roll with. I'll tell you one guy that the one in four does like, Andrew Hurley. Yeah. It likes it likes him a lot. So good job on the Justin Jefferson flex. Let's see if he could double up with that. Five signature Miami helmet. Oof. Man, that'd be sick. 
There's a JJ Watt secondary headliner as well. A lot of good options here in the one and four. Make some room, baby. Jay Jettas is in the house. Got two wide receivers and some six speed flexes. Mm -hmm. A lot of goodies. Who needs the high roller? We got flexes regularly in the break room, right? In every series, pretty much. Every even the practice squad. Yeah. That triple sign uh, flex last night was sick. Oh yeah. The Raider one. Man, a lot of goodies. Yeah, the Pat's helmet, Jamie, is nice as well. Oh, yeah. All right, does sparkle. Uh, we got the Everything Else Entertainment spot here. It's a Burt Smokey and the Bandits license plate. Burt Reynolds, Band 1, 76, Georgia. Beautiful auto for Burt Reynolds. Fanatic certified. Gisela Luster strikes again. So that is a double headliner spot. It's Beckett and Fanatic certified. So there you go, Gisela. Gisela's on a roll today. She's cooking. She's cooking. She actually, I know a lot of guys always say Gisela's hot, but she actually cooled off a lot in the last few days. But late last night, got back on the winning streak, and she is very much back this afternoon. So very, very nice. So she had a massive, massive losing streak. Uh, no doubt about that. I know a lot of guys always think she wins, but... She had like nine or ten straight losses, Alex. So it does go in swings, as we say. Uh, great hit, though, says Robert. Uh, great hit indeed on the Burt Reynolds. But this is Gisela Streaky, right? She's like, uh, who's a streaky guy? Allen Iverson, you know, back, you know, Curry can get really hot. James Harden, maybe, hit or miss. Uh, she's guy. on the streaky side of things right now. I know, just like a local one is like Zach Levine. He'll go off for like yeah. 30 points or have like 10. Nick Foles on the quarterback <laughs> spot. Oh, there you go. Bro, very, Joe very streaky. Joe Flacco. Yeah. Nah, she's on one of those streaks right now. Giselle, Giselle Luster. G Giselle Flacco. Giselle Flacco, right? Oh, man. Good job, Gisela. Up and down just like everyone else, right? And I think the thing about Gisela, why a lot of folks think she wins more than she does is she plays the high-end series. She, she plays the best stuff in the room, the diamonds, the one and four, the vault. So when she wins, she hits big items, right? Because the guys get a headline on the jersey break, nobody blinks, right? You get a full-size authentic in the diamonds or the vault or the one and four or the practice squad. That's when everybody notices. She says, thanks, guys. You're welcome, Gisela. You are very, very welcome uh, for the W's. So, four to go in that practice squad double. Uh, seven to go in that vault double, guys. What are we feeling next? Uh, we do have four to go in the can't miss jersey break. Uh, so, that one is also close. I mean, yeah, we should definitely fill out those jerseys. You're either getting an entry point or a headliner. It's crazy. Is that seven left now? Seven left. Seven left. Uh, we have four headliners and three entries left for a shot at the Jim Brown. Uh, so. And I would say the practice squad is a no-brainer right now, yeah, Alex. Yeah, Josh Allen's still out there under 10 boxes. That, that should be flying. That's, I mean, I'm looking at it right there. Eight boxes left, four photoed headliners, two authentics, two reps, plus a Josh Allen in the practice squad. And it's like one of those things with Josh Allen, he's without a doubt, no matter what you say, a top five quarterback. Most likely top two or three. Yeah, I've, I've put him number two for me right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I have him number two, but just, yeah. just to be a little more... Sure, a little broad. Yeah, yeah. Like, just to, just to make sure. Top five quarterback. Uh, what, if he wins a Super Bowl... His value's gonna ooh. skyrocket. I mean, I know we always talk about value. How much is it worth? It's worth a lot. Sometimes it goes for 1200 Sometimes it goes for 600 Don't think about what Josh Allen's value is now. Think about what it could be. Because oh, yeah. even as a Chief fan, if there's one guy that scares me, it's him. Yeah. And he's beaten the Chiefs in the regular season. He's played great in the playoffs. His biggest problem for me is that his defense lets him down. Uh, yeah. You know, his teammates let him down. A quarterback cannot win alone. No. You know, Mahomes, Brady, these guys that always win, as great as both of them are, they have really good supporting cast, really good coaches, yep. really good players. Mm -hmm. Josh Allen has never had that same level of guys around him that a Mahomes or a Brady has had. Now, I'm not saying that his teammates aren't good. They're obviously really good, Alex, but next level teammates is what wins you seven Super Bowls. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we so. do have uh, Taylor Anderson who bought a personal in the minis. What's up, Taylor? Taylor Anderson? 
Uh, so mini personal. Are you out there, Taylor? So if Taylor is out there, we'll break it for Taylor. Don't know if that's a female or a male. Uh, otherwise, if Taylor is not in here, uh, we'll have probably Colin break it at some point tonight, by the end of the night. Uh, Giselle says, thank you, Craig, I think. Congrats, Gisela. I hope you stay hot when not, not in a break with you. So I think Gisela, she is, he's cheering for you if he's not in the break. As long as he's not going up against you. Which is actually pretty fair, let's yeah. be honest. I mean, uh, everybody likes when other guys win or girls when people are on a hot streak. Unless you're in the break and you're victim of the hot streak, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you never want that. Jeffrey Greco gets it. He, he got in the practice squad single and double. Let's go, Jeffrey. Looking for a little bit of Josh Allen in his life. Yeah. Jeffrey Greco. Uh, so, three left in that practice squad double. Uh, we got four to go on that can't miss single. Uh, so, let's get those done, guys. So we do have a new break room rule. We open up all the personals, TA, uh, just because uh, we what we do reseal them for you. But we want everybody in the break room to know what headliners are out there. So we used to do that, but now we do open everything live. Uh, that is our company policy. Uh, so if you have a box number, let us know. Uh, but we do open everything on the show because we are primarily a break break room right alex yeah it just helps us keep track of everything. helps us keep, keep track of who's out there we did used to do that but it was messy because people didn't know what headliner was left it was available yeah. as both so right now all our personals get open live on the air we do reseal them for you just yeah. like all the other items but that is a definitely a valid valid question taylor um you can possibly uh do that potentially uh, you know, don't watch, and then we send it to you afterwards, if that's what you want, Taylor. What do you mean about update the website, Craig Crenshaw? Did we just sell out something? I'm confused what Craig is saying. Oh, I'm guessing he's talking about the photos. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, Craig, that's something we've always thought about, but we get super busy during a show uh, that it just gets to be kind of messy, like... Some nights we do 90 boxes. Who's going to update it during the show? Then it's one night we update it. The next night we don't. Uh, that is why we always tell you guys, ask us in the chat what headliners are left. I'm guessing that's what he's referring to, Alex. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we do always, uh, always let you guys know. I just know it wouldn't look nice with an X. It does involve a lot of work to remove graphics. I mean, if we had like three photos in a graphic, it would look really, really oh, messy. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, Craig, we don't try to deceive anybody. If you're ever wondering what's left, you can always ask in the chat. You can even email customer service. Uh, they'll let you know what's left as well. Uh, all sorts of options, to say the least. So, who's going to knock out these breaks here, guys? Four to go in the jerseys. Four to go in the one and fours. Four to go in the practice squad single. And three left in the practice squad Double box. I'd be playing the diamond, too. You can still double up with Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. Yes. I keep looking at the board. I'm like, oh, you can, you can double that up. Well, actually, the NFC West is a hot spot, Alex. Yeah. We have Aaron Donald, and there's a Marshall Falk in here as well. Oof. So Taylor says you can open it later, and I won't watch. So there Taylor wants a surprise. That's fair. I like that. You got it, Taylor. Uh, we are pretty reasonable people here. We usually do the best we can to meet requests, but obviously, that is our new policy. We do open up everything uh, eventually here. Uh, Diamond Helmets out there. LT, Barry Sanders, Montana, Moon, Donald, Prescott, Rice, Curtis Martin. Uh, that is now, what, I think 13 boxes left, Alex? And we still got eight headliners in the Diamonds. Seven photoed here. Uh, holy cow. Actually, no. One, two, 15. three, four, five, six, seven, eight photoed. Eight and 15? Eight and 15. That's what it is. We only did one Diamond? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, 8 and 15 chance. I don't know why in my head I felt like we did a double, but we have not done the double box yet. So, it's, that is... It's 9 and 15, if you include the Falk. Yeah, 9 and 15 counting the Falk. That's... And the Marshall Falk is also a Ram hit for that double, by the way. So, that is the NFC West double up there, potentially with the Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. And the practice squad, what do we got? Two Authentics? In, in the last eight boxes. One of them being Josh Allen, but regardless, five and eight chance at a headliner. Mm, that is so, so good in that practice squad break. 
So get those spots, guys. Let me know what you guys are interested in the break room. Uh, for me, I think the best helmet out there is got to be the Brady in the vault, though. Yeah. You know, that's a salute to service speed flex with the visor. Uh, man, uh, I love the Aiden Hutchinson lid, too. Uh, we have four speed flexes in the vault, Alex. Four yeah. speed flexes. Brady, Rice, Gardner, and Dickerson. Uh, everything is out there in this series but the Barry Sanders. We got one box from the new, one box from the old. By the way, the old has four boxes left. One of them is J.J. Watt. So there's a lot of, lot of goodies in here. Curious question for you, Alex. We were talking about this last night, mm -hmm. and we had a lot of guys chime in and give their lists. I know it's very hard to decide, but I will put you on the spot. Your top five all-time quarterback list. Oh, man. All-time, because we have Brady, Montana, Breeze, all guys that are either top five. We're certainly in that discussion. All right, so I'm going to do a thing where I'm just going to do people I've watched live on the like TV or in person. So you're not going to count Montana. Then. I'm not going to count Montana. Okay, that's fair. So I'm yeah, going to do. That's a fair way to do it. I'm going to do Brady one. Brady one. It's, it's Brady. I think you just have to. Sure. Mahomes two. Mahomes two. Okay. Aaron Rodgers three. Aaron Rodgers three. Drew Brees four. Ooh. You're forgetting Peyton Manning. Oh yeah. Peyton Manning four. Drew Brees five. Okay. That's pretty. I, I would say of guys I've watched. Again, it depends on where you land on longevity because I think. Mahomes, to me, is better than Brady, uh, but I think he needs to do it for another 10 years. Like, right now, Brady's the GOAT. Mahomes is the guy that could pass him up. So, right now, I would probably agree with your list. The only... I'm guessing you're going to switch Manning and Rodgers. I might switch Manning and Rodgers, yeah. Uh, but, it's you know, it's tough to pick. Needless to say, though, Brady and Breeze, two of your top five, two of my top five, and I personally... Do include the old school guys. I didn't watch Montana personally. I've seen the highlights, but I was way too young to really uh, watch Joe Montana as a kid. Uh, but I, I do include him in my top five because the four Super Bowls, uh, the multiple MVPs, multiple Super Bowl MVPs. Uh, so I put Mahomes in that five to seven range. I think he's going to be one or two when he's done. But just based on a totality of a career, a bunch of years played, I go Brady 1, Manning 2, Montana 3, and then Breeze and Rodgers in that 4-5 range for me. Uh, so three of the top five quarterbacks ever, I personally think, are all in this series. Oh, yeah. Uh, a couple other guys in my top ten personally, John Elway and Dan Marino. Uh, you talk about nine boxes left, Josh Allen left in the practice squad. How about seven boxes left in the jerseys? Uh, we do have Elway... And Marino as well. Yeah, and William, again, you've heard me say this a lot. These are personal lists. I think rings matter. Uh, but I also look at your team, how much you contribute. I know Bratcher played in a different era, which is a whole nother can of worms comparing eras. But I look at touchdown to pick ratio. I look at, you know, Bratcher had one MVP. Uh, I think Montana has two. I think Bratcher had one Super Bowl MVP. Think about that. Bratcher has four MVPs. Only got MVP of the Super Bowl, or four Super Bowls, got MVP only once. He was not the most important player on those Super Bowl teams. Uh, it was that defense. So, for me, William, personally, I can't put Bradshaw in my top ten because I think it's a team game. But a lot of folks would put Bradshaw in that top ten. No doubt about that. Uh, so, headliners left in the diamond, Shiloh. Uh, that includes... Uh, let's see here. We have Montana, Tomlinson, Sanders, Aaron Donald, Dak Prescott, Jerry Rice, and Curtis Martin. Only 15 boxes left. Is that two MVPs for Terry Bradshaw for the Super Bowl? Let's look him up. Just you look at his numbers. Uh, yeah, two-time Super Bowl MVP, excuse me. So two out of four, uh, but only got one league MVP. You know, had 212 touchdowns. And 210 picks, Alex. Yeah, it's just a different game. It's hard to compare. Like, same thing in basketball. It's hard to compare different areas. It is. When, when you're, they're adjusting rules and different types of things you can do. Like, now judging a defense, you can't do the, the hip tackle right. anymore. So, so I mean, that's going to be a whole it, thing. It is, it is tough. Obviously, comparing errors is tough. I just look at Montana, almost a 2-1 to one touchdown to pick ratio. Bradshaw, about 1-1. One to one. A little bit different errors, but, I mean, Bradshaw played in the 70s and 80s. Montana played in the 80s and 90s. So, it's not like it was all that different you know 
I mean, they played together for a few years, for example. Like 1979, uh, they played in the same year together. Uh, so they played together for a little bit. Right? No, I agree, William. It was a different era. It was very much a different era. Uh, but I think... I still think, for me, Montana was better. Like, 1981, they both played that year. Bradshaw had 2,887 pass yards, 22 touchdowns, and 14 picks. That same year, Montana had... Uh, let's see, 3,565 yards, I, I think a, considerably more. I think a, a, a better debate is Big Ben or Terry Bradshaw. Yeah, agreed. Uh, so I know Bradshaw has two more Super Bowls, but Big Ben has all the stats. Yeah. And they both play for the same organization. Mm -hmm. I feel like that that's a, a closer argument yeah. compared to Montana and Bradshaw. Uh, Shiloh, everything is left in the vault except for the Barry Sanders. I just do want to clarify that we have one box from the old series, one from the new. There's four boxes left in the old series. One of them is J.J. Watt. Uh, so, Mark, we do random divisional breaks. You get randomized your divisions. Uh, the customers that are in the breaks do call out box numbers. Uh, you've got a one in eight chance to win for each spot you buy, unless it's the one in four, one in four chance to win, or the college one in six chance to win. Uh, but definitely... Uh, it is very, very hard to compare uh, eras uh, for sure, Alex. Uh, very tough. If I am picking one retro guy, though, to put in, in my top 10 quarterbacks, it'd probably be Johnny Unitas, a guy that had mm. better numbers uh, in a similar era, even lower era than Bradshaw. Better touchdown to pick ratio, uh, more yards passing. Uh, so he's a guy I'm picking. Because Bradshaw, for example, Alex, never led the league in passing yards. Not a single time in his career. Johnny Unitas, for example, led the league in passing yards one, two, three, four times. Uh, so, something to think about, but no doubt about it. Uh, Bradshaw is also unquestionably one of the all-time greats. Oh, yeah. He's so, a great commentator on Fox for all these years. He's fun. I know he's a little bit older now, but yeah. uh, definitely uh, had some great moments as well for Fox. So... Yeah, it's just that uh, everything is era adjusted. Like it's like same thing for basketball. Where do you put Will Chamberlain? I mean, yeah, yeah, he played against guys that weren't as good, but he also put up fifty and twenty five, which yeah, like, nobody how, else. Did. How much better would have someone done than him? Yeah, I've, I've got him as my third best of all time mm -hmm. personally. I go, you know, MJ, LeBron can flip those guys, whichever way you want to go, and I put Wilt three personally, Alex. But uh, we can never truly with certainty know where a guy would be no. uh, all time. Um, so, but I can tell you this, the all-time greats are great in every era. That much, that much I can say. Uh, I love seeing Bradshaw with Howie Long. They work yeah. great together, says Jamie. Yeah, no doubt about it. Hall of Famers on the field and Hall of Famers in the booth for Fox Football with Michael Strahan as well. Uh, so definitely a good squad to say the least. Two spots to go in that practice squad, double. Two spots to go in the practice squad, single. A guy that hopes to join the likes of Montana and Bradshaw as a Super Bowl champion, that'd be Josh Allen. Uh, Josh Allen. Uh, so this is fantastic. Uh, Full-size, authentic Josh Allen. Uh, Alex, with, we said it earlier, eight boxes left. Adrian Peterson, Jerome Bettis, Demarcus Ware, Jared Allen, five headliners in the last eight boxes so jamie says bill russell doesn't get the respect he deserves mm -hmm. yeah he won a lot of championships i'd argue bill russell for me does get the respect he deserves but because everybody's got him top 10 again that's why i like wilt for me he had about double the points of bill russell and you know same amount of rebounds uh i think he was a better player just didn't play on as good of teams personally uh, but bill russell was also great and Taylor says, it's all right. I changed my mind. You can break it now. All right, let's do it. Perfect. Uh, we can do the mini now. Uh, Taylor had a feeling that would happen, right? Uh, so that's perfect, actually, because we can break this and the practice squad fills up while we do it, Alex. Bill Russell was also a player coach, too. Uh, so I love what the NBA does, too. They named the trophies after Bill Russell. After Kobe Bryant, 
uh, the homage they pay to the legends, right? The Michael Jordan, I think, got one recently as well. So definitely some uh, cool stuff in the NBA. So Taylor Anderson, uh, let us know what number you want on the minis. I'll go ahead and make it easy for you. I'll copy and paste the numbers for you. Uh, but they are scrolling through our ticker here. So these are numbers available in the mini helmets. A lot of headliners out there in the minis. Eight yeah. photo headliners in the minis. Yeah, I don't go too over the top with the Bill Russell rings. I know it's a lot, but there was like a little over half the amount of teams. Yeah. Back then. And he also played with like at the time like five Hall of Famers. Five Hall of Famers. <laughs> so that that's why I put Wilt ahead of him personally. Uh, but again, comparing so, eras so and teams is tough. One of the greatest ever to do it. One of the greatest of his era. But yeah, he was on a dominant team with like fifteen teams. He was. He was a beast. So let us know, Taylor, what number you want. He says, let's go 21. Is it he or she, actually, just to clarify? Because Taylor is one of the most common names that could go either way, right? I think it might be Taylor and then mine. I, I don't mind. It's 15. Alex, yeah. My girlfriend is Alex. What? It's Alexandra, but she goes by Alex Rally. Casey's so. another one. Casey's another one. Uh, so we do want to make sure. I mean, heck, Jamie is one. Jamie's yeah. in the chat. Jamie Teetsort. Jamie Tart, uh, and we do get a lot of Jamies out there. Box 21, Taylor Anderson. Let's see what we got here in box 21, the Sammy Sosa box, as they call it. Oh, you picked the good one, Taylor. You picked the real good one. Headliner, DK Metcalf on the Eclipse Mini. Uh, nice silver pen, one of the most beastly receivers in the league. He's strong, he's fast. Double-digit touchdown guy, more than a thousand yards receiving. Uh, Nice-looking mini there on DK Metcalf. It's one of my most swag moves in football history. DK Metcalf showing up to the team meeting with the Seahawks before the draft, shirtless. Oh, shirtless. And, it worked. And Pete Carroll matched him. And Pete Carroll matched him. Not exactly for muscle, but for a swag. It was oh, yeah. a good move by Pete Carroll. Talk about relating to your guys. So good job, Taylor Anderson. I always say you buy a personal, you buy at a break, you want to hit a headliner, and it is a headliner here in DK Metcalf. Love that lid. Love that lid. I think him and Jackson Smith in the jig book could be really good together for many years to come oh, in yeah. Seattle. Tell me that practice squad is sold out, Alex. It is now. We're still two to go on that practice squad double. College Ooh. double. The Camus jersey doubles four away. Okay. The singles four away. All right. Knock, knock, knocking on the door of breaks. Uh, we'll go to at least 2 o'clock no matter what. If the breaks are still hot after 2 o'clock, we'll keep going. Otherwise, a brief lunch break, and we will regroup at 3 p.m. for the 3 p.m. show. It is 12, 3, and 6 Central Time every single day here at ua except for major major holidays uh like christmas like thanksgiving uh, we're here every single day so what do you think as far as the best hit so far alex i'm gonna go with the scary terry scary terry for you scary terry number one uh, this is a silver ripped flex it is glorious i'm gonna be different than you i'm gonna go with the jet jay jet is number one I think Barry's got to be third and Roger Staubach fourth yep. so far. Uh, so far. There we go. Uh, so Jamie Tietzor's headliner from last week might get here. Hoping to move that Ray Lewis authentic. And Taylor says, my son is going to love that. All right, there we go. Uh, that is a uh, great parent, since we don't know if it's a, a guy or a girl, but great parent yeah. uh, for Taylor. Uh, that's what's great about the modern guys for me. Uh, your kids, like, they're going to love those guys forever. Oh, yeah. And we have the all-time legends, which are always great. But I love seeing the modern players like a Justin Jefferson, like a Josh Allen, like a Tyreek Hill. Mm -hmm. These names are uh, very, very cool. Uh, that scary Terry Rip is six, says Jamie. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Terry McLaurin, salute the service. Rip flex. That bad boy is nasty. Oh, yeah. Nasty. 
So practice squad is coming up. Thank you, gentlemen, says Taylor. You're welcome, Taylor. You are very, very welcome. Swiftly coming in the break room and snagging a headliner. Mm -hmm. Pun intended, Alex. I know. Pun intended. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of puns. Even a bigger fan of the breaks. Uh, it is 139. Guys, let's get those practice squad knocked out. There will be three more in the practice squad. We'll give us five left. Yeah. Uh, so if the Allen doesn't come out right then, then it's going to be really heat. Yeah, it does say Redskin. Doesn't say Commanders. Does say Redskin on the front and the back uh, for the Washington lid. Personally, Alex, of course, names are personal preference. I don't actually. My personal favorite name is the Washington Football Team. I agree. I was going to say the same thing. The football team was the best. The football team was cool. I know a lot of guys like the Redskin name. I know some guys are offended by it. Some like the Commanders. I'm definitely a Washington Football Team. A fan personally. More of a football team or go like the Red Hogs or something? Yeah. WFT. It's like WTF, WFT. Yeah. It just sounds nice. It works. I know it's weird, but it works. I mean, we have all the soccer teams. I like, say, yeah, there's all the FCs, all the football clubs. At football club, you know, Barcelona. Uh, I like the football team. We did get the practice squad single filled up. Mm. William says, Indian Nation wants Redskins name back. All right. Yeah, that is uh, that is one I stay away from. I I know, I know some people are offended, some aren't. Uh, I guess I have no comment on it, Alex. I'll say that because I can kind of see both sides of the argument personally. Uh, I'm a guy, says Taylor. There we go, Taylor. That's a bro. Uh, so I'm sure Colin Rudisa will butcher that, but yeah, uh, we'll see. That's okay. Oh, Colin. Every time he has to guess between a guy and a girl, he's always wrong. <laughs> Uh, you know, he got Casey. He got Casey last he got night? Casey, right. Was Casey... Casey... Male? Female. Oh, I feel like I heard you guys talking about her and I forgot. Yeah, she spells it K-A-S-I-E. Yeah, okay. That's fair. So, John, uh, Justin, Jeffrey, Chris, Jeffrey, let me know on a practice squad box number. The people that should be were not offended, says William. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I bet that's true, William. But there's probably also different people that were offended on that group and some that weren't. There was obviously enough people offended that they made the change, Alex. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's complicated. I mean, we have the Blackhawks here. The Blackhawks are here. So. At the end of the day, it's just a name. It's just a name. It's better off to not offend anyone than to offend yeah. someone. Yeah. I, I don't care so much about the names. No. I mean, the Chiefs. The Chiefs are the Chiefs. Uh, so, uh, box 12 coming up, John Sutter. So, 12 works. But I know for most people in our break room, they would rather have the Redskin logo. So, for those guys that like that, for sure, here it is, the Redskin logo uh, on the Terry McLaurin helmet. All right, good luck, guys, for the practice squad coming up. All right, you're, I mean, William, that is an opinion that a lot of folks share, man. And you are not the only guy that shares that opinion. I will say uh, that for sure. In many ways, our society is a lot more sensitive. In some ways, it's better. some ways, it's worse. Uh, I definitely can see, uh, you know, both of those opinions out there. Uh, so we got six clicks. Chris Abramatz in the NFC North. John Sutters got the NFC South. Jeffrey Greco, NFC East. Justin Price, NFC West. Jeffrey's got the AFC North, AFC South. Chris, 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 Chris. You've got the Josh Allen spot. And Jeffrey, you've got the AFC West. Box 12 coming up. 12 of 35. Such an iconic quarterback box number right Brady oh, yeah. Bradshaw Rogers could it be Josh Allen here in the quarterback box do we have Jerome Bettis still out there as an authentic Adrian Peterson full-size rep this one though definitely authentic and definitely Josh oh, yeah. Allen baby uh the sick lunar speed authentic with the red ink uh, that was a single box break Chris got two spots 94 bucks for a Josh Allen authentic, 
Talk about a steal, maybe. Beckett certified with that QR code on the back. This guy can pass the ball. He can run the ball. Uh, the second best quarterback in the game for me. Uh, how about it, Chris Abermatz on the Josh Allen Lunar Authentic. This is definitely going to the hit video. Uh, awesome, awesome lid for Mr. Abermatz. And he's actually a Dolphin fan. Oh. Uh, so I don't know how he feels about this one. So Bill fans out there, maybe offer him something nice. Well, if there's any Bill fans that have a Marino, well, that's like a perfect trade. Man. And Allen for Marino. Yeah. Uh, so Tyree Kill, Tua, Barrage some options away. right there. So Jamie says, what I don't understand is the people uh, that call for Florida State to drop the Seminole name, even though the Seminole Nation receives money for its usage, says Jamie. Okay. And there you go. Well, that's probably why they haven't changed it, Jamie. We did pull a Seminole earlier tonight. Uh, we pulled the Jameis Winston filler hit in the college. So there we go, Chris. Josh Allen, definitely one of the top hits this show. I mean, hit video is going to be McLaurin, Jettas, Sanders, and Allen, I think. Uh, no doubt about that, Alex. Pretty simple decisions. We could go Roger Staubach, but obviously... I think I kind of want to save that for the Navy lid. Yeah. Because that one is kind of different on the suspension. Sweet. Finally get a win and a big one, says Chris. There we go, Chris. It does go in streaks. Uh, obviously, I said this earlier on Fanatics. Retail that $1,200 retail value. On eBay, they go for six, seven, eight hundred bucks, nine hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, depending on uh, you know where you look. Uh, but retail value about twelve hundred bucks on Fanatics, Alex. You got it for ninety four bucks. Yeah. So That's that is uh, fantastic. And his autograph is gonna go up. His value is gonna go yeah. up. Uh, no doubt about that, Josh Allen. It's already expensive, and he's he's yet to, and he will win an MVP. Oh yeah. And a good chance at a Super Bowl. MVP, I would say for sure. Super Bowl. Possibly. 50-50, uh, I feel. Yeah, I definitely think people ask, is the Bills window closing? I say it's I not. So. As long as he's as, the quarterback as, there. As long as he's the quarterback there, they have a window. Did they lose a lot of guys this season? Could they maybe have a little bit of a down year? It's possible, but in two, three, four years, they'll be back. As long as he's the quarterback, they are a contender, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, we did hit the Raider flex Val. Uh, that came out last night in the practice squad. We do still have the Drone Bettis Authentic with seven boxes left. Demarcus Ware rep, Adrian Peterson rep, and a Jared Allen uh, secondary headliner Val in that practice squad. Yeah, that Raider flex last night was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It was probably the second best hit last night behind the Jordan Love. Jordan Love. Now, two flexes on the table here. I uh, had the Terry McLaurin rip flex, the Jay Jettas speed authentic flex. We still have a Tom Brady flex out there, Val. Yeah, Val is a big time player. Uh, she gets the big time uh, names. Now uh, she's already got a Brady. How about a salute to service speed flex, Valerie, in that vault? So James says the Seminole Nation trains the horse used. They make and maintain and clothing the mascot uses. Yeah, many people complain about the name, says Jamie. But it's not the Seminole people complaining. Yeah. I mean, that's a very fair point, Jamie. Obviously, I'm sure there's other folks that still find it offensive. Uh, but, yeah, that's a, that's a very complicated issue. I try not to open up that door here. Uh, we keep it to sports. Uh, try to stay away from religion and politics. Right, Alex? Yep. Because nothing, nothing good ever comes out when that starts uh, being talked about. Uh, so we got... Two spots to go in the college double, and two spots to go in the practice squad double. Uh, those two should hopefully fill up the show. Uh, let's make it happen. There you go. Got the Lewis Authentic and the HN A&M rep, Jamie. Good job. Uh, we do actually have Ray Lewis in the break room right now on a five-signature Miami Authentic, and that's the chase to one and four. The five-sig Miami lid still out there. Uh, in, in that break. So 149 right now. At 2 o'clock, we'll knock out the wheel spin, which is... Uh, what was the wheel spin? The 1 and 4. Actually, we'll do it at 155, unless that 1 and 4 has some movement. So we'll give you guys until 2 o'clock to fill up the breaks that are close. 
Uh, let's not forget this jersey break, by the way, Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, seven jerseys left. Uh, we have Elway, Marino, O.J. Simpson, and George Pickens. Secondary headliner, Mr. Pickens. Plus three entries for a chance at the Jim Brown full-size rep. So every box left in the jerseys is either a headliner or an entry into the Jim Brown chase. Uh, so don't forget about that break. Probably as far as breaks we could knock out this program. Best bet is the practice squad double. Two to go. Diamond double, five to go. Possible, if not the show, for sure the 3 p.m. show. Again, everything is left except for Love, McLaurin, and Hill. Uh, better than 50% chance at a headliner in here uh, with just so few boxes left, right? 15 left. Uh, we have eight photoed headliners and nine total in the diamonds. Uh, that one is possibility, but probably the next show. Possibility for the jerseys. Could be this show, could be the next show. College double, two to go. Possibility could be the next show. Again, double up with Chase and Tarkenton. Got Chris Carter in here still. Ed Reed, Andre Johnson, Roger Staubach, Nebraska Heisman. A lot of good stuff left in that break. A vault. Let's not forget, guys, six to go. Uh, everything is out there in the vault except for Barry Sanders, including a Tom Brady salute to service speed flex. So one from the old series, one from the new. We are four boxes away from having just the new series. And then four to go on that can't miss jersey as well. So four left is for the old ones, Val. One of them is a JJ Watt. Uh, so four to go. And then it's going to be a single and a double in the vault uh, with a chance for the Brady lid for just over 80 bucks, Alex. Yeah. Even for one, what is that, 164? I mean, come on, it's a $3,000 lid for Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. So Shallow says, let's go, let's break a vault. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Uh, that will definitely, I would say, be a hot break tonight, Alex. Could be hot this show, could be hot next show. But by the time the 6 p.m. show rolls around, uh, that series will be cleared out with the old. It'll be off and running in the vault. A little bit surprised there's not more action in the diamonds uh, with a you know, 9 in 15 chance at a headliner, Alex. A little bit surprised there's not more action in the jerseys. Yeah. Everything is a headliner or an entry. So, looking forward to all that fun. So, taking a look at some headlines today on ESPN. Uh, looks like... What is that? The Big Three, Ice Cube... And the big three offer Caitlin Clark $5 million to play in that big three. Yeah, the WNBA offseason. Interesting. Uh, Caitlin Clark on to the Sweet 16. Oh, yeah. I got my male and female, all my Final Four teams left, Alex. There you go. Feeling good. Uh, LeBron expected to return against the Grizzlies. He was out last night. The Lakers won anyway. And look at this messy visit uh, set to break New England's 61k attendance record there we go Messi. of course let's go so i'll try to hit up Messi three times this summer soldier field for a friendly copa america uh, either in miami uh new jersey or atlanta i'm mm -hmm. planning on a little messy mini trip and then again soldier field for miami in august there hopefully i'm waiting till the week before for tickets <laughs> though they better be left alex yeah. I, I can't risk it if he's injured or something yeah I'm not doing that thing again. Uh, we are one day away from opening day in baseball as yeah. well. And we'll have some baseball series in the room tomorrow. Uh, so a lot of goodies out there in the breaks, guys. Every single day, we bring the heat. We bring the awesome, awesome memorabilia. And my preseason pick for baseball to win the World Series, Alex, the Dodgers. I think they get it done. I really do. I know, I know it's... Uh, you know, the best team doesn't always win, but that team is way too stacked for me. I'll be rooting for Baltimore. Baltimore. Adley Rutschman in the one and yeah. four. It's a best nice... Ca best catcher in baseball. He's He might be. He's definitely up there, if not number one, Mr. Rutschman. Such a great time to be a sports fan, right? I mean, we got... Yeah, everything. March Madness. We got the NBA playoffs around the corner, NHL playoffs. Mm -hmm. We had the NFL draft around the corner. Yeah. I know a lot of NASCAR fans are out there. For me, Champions League soccer, the Masters. I mean, 
It's one of the best times of the year. We got everything. Yeah, we certainly do. Uh, just missing the NFL regular season games. The off season has uh, been great. It has been fun. <laughs> it's been good for us as Bear fans. Yeah. I can't remember the Bears in my lifetime at least having a better off season. I mean, uh-huh. uh, Pro Bowl receiver, Pro Bowl running back. Uh, the number one overall pick, which yep. will be Caleb Williams. Mm-hmm. Uh, Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Uh, definitely, definitely pumped. So, who's going to knock out the practice squad? I think that's the best bet uh, here in the next six minutes, guys. Otherwise, that'll be a nice little pre-fill for the 3 p.m. show. I know Josh Allen just went, Alex, but Adrian Peterson, full-size rep. Demarcus Ware, full-size rep. Jerome Bettis, full-size authentic. Yeah. Three full-size helmets in seven boxes. Uh, worth the shot in that double box. Uh, so hopefully that not gets knocked out the next few minutes. Otherwise, we'll do it the next show. Diamonds, five to go. Better than a 50% chance at a headliner. Jerseys, five to go. Football is only two to go. College football. My preference, as always, Alex, is knock these out immediately so you guys see your breaks right away. But I will say, silver lining is a great word. A lot of silver lining if these are knocked out early in the next show, right? Pre-fills for the next show. Immediate momentum for the next show. Oh, yeah. So if you guys don't knock out these breaks in the next five minutes, we'll have those ready for the 3 p.m. hour. Let's do this wheel spin. It's the one and four double. Uh, Chris, Andrew, Zachary, and Gisela each have a one and four chance at the wheel here. And that'll be the chase for the next show as well, Alex. Do you want to get that one and four moving? I mean, they saw what was in there. It's fantastic. Uh, so six clicks. Uh, we got Andrew Hurley here. Andrew Hurley. Uh, so that's going to be the guy that won the Justin Jefferson. Oh, how about that? How about that? Uh, that is awesome right there, Jay Jettas. And now he gets the wheel spin. And Shiloh, we do do card breaks. Believe it or not, the cards are not that hot in our break room. I think it's because we don't open up card packs. Because everything we do is autographed, Alex. Yeah. Uh, and I know a lot of guys want the one of ones, the tens. We do have some ten rated cards, but you know a lot of the cards we roll out are autographed nine graded cards. Those have not done well in the break room recently. They'll be back at some point. But we don't typically do a lot of card breaks. I know that's very popular out there. We pretty much own the football, the jerseys, the mini helmets, mm-hmm. the rep helmets, the jerseys. Uh, that's kind of what the guys love in our break room. Uh, I have found the slab cards don't do great in our break room. Yeah, uh, It's just simply uh, just the way it is. But we are going to do those at some point. We do mix it up. We do get cards in the practice squad sometimes yeah. as filler hits. Uh, so there is... Uh, definitely a variance of things we offer. Occasionally in the one and four, there's like a really, like a, maybe a Josh Allen slab card or Justin Herbert, something, something like that. Something like that, yeah. Uh, so I'll give you about 20 seconds here, Andrew. Otherwise, we'll start you on one. Then we'll do our hit of the show discussion. And then if the practice squad is full, we'll break it. Otherwise, we'll probably have it for the next uh, show. Valerie, diamond helmets left, Val. We got 15 boxes left. And we got nine headliners left, eight photoed. Curtis Martin, authentic. Aaron Donald, authentic. Dak Prescott, authentic. Jerry Rice, authentic. Warren Moon, authentic. Barry Sanders, authentic. Joe Montana, authentic. LaDainian Tomlinson, authentic. I mean, look at that. Maybe two top five running backs ever, LT and Barry Sanders. Uh, Top five quarterback, Joe Montana. Top one defensive tackle, Aaron Donald. Top ten running back, Curtis Martin. The GOAT receiver, Jerry Rice. And a top 10 current quarterback, Dak Prescott. Massive names, a lot of value, Val. A lot of good ratios in there. Yes, Chris Abermatz, there will be baseball tomorrow for opening day. And Shiloh's a football card collector as well. There we go, Shiloh. Uh, Good to hear it. Let's spin this wheel. Spin in that wheel. And yes, William, there is an update on the reps. Look for those tomorrow, sir. William Maynard, also the headliner packages, guys. We'll have the reps and the headliner packages. Those just got uh, filtered through the system. Our production team is building those tomorrow, William. Uh, So 
tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon uh there will be headliner packages and full-size reps as well yeah look for those tomorrow 3 p.m show or 6 p.m show perfect so there you go william 48 by the way on that wheel spin number for andrew hurley all right so alex let's talk about the hit of the show i think it's gonna it's tough you're going mclaurin yep. right Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Jetta's a little bit different because it's a combo of, of a flex uh, and it's a great player. I mean, McLaurin's great too, but Jay Jetta's is the best. Uh, the third best hit, I'll go Josh Allen. Mm -hmm. It's a quarterback. Lunar Authentic looks beautiful. And fourth place, Barry Sanders. Just because we see Barry quite a bit. I mean, I yeah. can easily put Barry one, two, three, or four, uh, but I'll put him four in this case. Uh, the honorable mention. So you're welcome, William. Uh, you're welcome, guys, on a great, great show. Uh, let's see, Jeffrey just got in. What did Jeffrey get you got into? got us one spot away in the double for the practice squad. All right, guys. How about this? Instead of five full minutes, we'll split the difference. NFL two-minute warning. All right. If the practice squad is sold out in two minutes, we'll break it. Otherwise, it'll be the first break of the next show. One spot to go in that double box. Uh, here you guys go. Like I always say, Alex, preference is to break it now so these guys are happy but otherwise, it gives us a nice break to start the next yeah. show. And if we do hop off for some reason while I'm talking, it sells out, I miss it, or we're off the air, then it sells out, we're not hopping back on, Alex. Just to clarify, it'll be 3 p.m. So if you've got the credit card out right now, you're ready to purchase that last spot, let me know. I'll hold off and give you guys another minute or two. Uh, otherwise, we'll hop off here in the next minute or two. That is definitely our best bet at a break one spot to go that practice squad double box it's like valerie closed it up thank you val thank you for not making it awkward uh valerie got it knocked out thank you val appreciate that this is the last break of the show unless something else is full uh right after this so is this our second double i think first double first double oh my god i'm surprised uh go ahead and drop me two box numbers guys we'll be five practice squads left and I think we'll probably hold off on dropping another series because uh, we'll have baseball in the room tomorrow. So baseball will follow the practice squad, but we'll have baseball in regardless of whether it's sold out or not, Alex. It is the opening day series tomorrow. So 17 from Valerie. All right, Val, 17 works. One more. It is a double box. Talking about practice. We got Gisela, Jeffrey, Chris in here as well. Valerie, of course, Craig, and then Jeffrey again. She won 17 and 33, Alex. That gets us five left in the series. Now, there will be a full-size headliner left regardless, Alex. Even if we pull two of them, there will be at least one full-size rep or authentic headliner left for the next one. So, Jeffrey, you cannot earn another headliner package once you hit GOAT level. What you do get, Jeffrey, is a GOAT collector, and you'll see these emails every single month. You will get massive discounts. You'll get, like, uh, you know, 15% off on carts. Uh, you'll get sometimes free spots. Uh, the GOAT people get much more discounts and specials than all the other customers. You can't get another headliner package. We are going to get... A lot more stuff that other guys don't get in the breaks. Mm -hmm. Free money to spend in the break room. Uh, we've definitely retooled that um, signature club. Uh, there will be monthly emails sent out to just the GOAT people with various promos. And we'll definitely discuss next year possibly redoing things. But at the current moment, for the rest of 2024, you cannot earn two GOAT packages. All right, randomizer going up. We got four, five, six clicks. Gisela's got the NFC North. Chris has the NFC South. We got Jeffrey, NFC East, NFC West, AFC North. He's got the headliner spots covered. Ooh. And Gisela's got that Peterson spot, though. Uh, Gisela, AFC South, Craig, AFC East, and Valerie, AFC west here for the practice squad double box 
17 of 35 on the way here. Good luck, guys. This one feels heavy. I'm not sure if it's rep or authentic, Alex. I want to find out. Oh, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. Both the helmet and the player. Huh. All aboard the bus. Jerome Bettis, baby. Physical bus on the auto. Eighth all-time in rushing yards. Uh, one of the all-time best running backs ever. Super Bowl champ. Hall of Famer. Jerome Bettis for Jeffrey Greco. Let's go, Jeffrey. Uh, awesome hit on the bus. Uh, one of the best-looking autos in the game. This probably will be the fifth helmet if I had to pick the best lids today. Uh, honorable mention for the bus. Yeah. Love that one, though. That is absolutely fantastic. Little authentic run. I think we've done... We might have done four boxes today in the practice squad and then four authentics. I think it was Roger Staubach. Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler. Josh Allen. Jerome Bettis so far. <laughs> All authentics All authentic. in the practice squad. Oh, man. I'm telling you, Alex, before your time, we used to run the practice squad as a $15 entry point break. And... I'll be honest, there was some garbage in there. The practice squad now is just incredibly great. I mean, you raise the price, the quality becomes better. Uh, $47 for an authentic. That is unmatched. Unmatched. Jamie says, Mr. Greco, nice hit. I'd love to get a hold of that. There you go. Now, Jamie's a Steeler fan, always looking for Steeler stuff like Jerome Bettis. He says, yes, I was trying to get that. So probably going to be a tough sell uh, on the trade uh, market, Jamie. Because that's what Jeffrey wanted, Jerome Bettis. All right, one more here in our double box. Got a mini helmet here, Alex. Mini helmet. Oh, how about that? Would you look at that? It's Jared Allen on the Chief Helmet. Ah, there you uh, go. The Chief Flash Mini, uh, Valerie Provenchar with the closer spot, uh, snagging home the Jared Allen Flash Mini. Beckett certified, QR sticker on the back, uh, more than 100 career sacks. Mm -hmm. He's got the most safeties ever, Jared Allen, by the way. Uh, good job, Val, on the Viking Legend, the Chief Star. And the Bear Star. Yeah. I uh, played all over the place here at Allen. Yeah, good everywhere he went. Mm-hmm. Beast. And that was the closer spot, looks like. Yeah. Uh, it's the closer magic. It's real. Uh, so, five boxes left. Uh, we got two photoed headliners left. Demarcus Ware and Adrian Peterson in that practice squad. Jared Allen, homeschool. Thanks, Mom, says Jamie. There we go. Nice, thank you, says Val. You're very welcome, Val. Uh, you are very, very welcome. Let me take a quick peek at the break page, see if anything else is sold out, Alex. Uh, looks like we're still two to go in that college break. Otherwise, fairly open. I mean, we do have four to go in the jersey single. Uh, we got six to go in the vault. Uh, five to go in that jersey double. Five to go in the diamond double. So... These should be breaks for early on in the 3 p.m. hour. Val says I have that uh, same Bettis helmet, Jamie, if you're interested. There you go. So hit up Valerie. So that'll do it for us for the early show, Alex. Thank you so much for co-hosting, for producing, doing a great job as always. Thank you so much to the customers for watching, for chatting, for buying. Uh, you guys are the absolute best. And there are vault keys, Shiloh. Make sure I add that on the ticker. There are vault keys out there, five vault keys per usual in that vault series. Uh, yes, those are out there. So we'll be back at 3 p.m. Thanks again to the customers. You guys are the best. You make this show possible. You make this show awesome. 12 p.m., 3 p.m., 6 p.m. Central Time, every single day at Ultimate Autographs. We'll see you guys in just over 50 minutes. See you soon, guys.